boys, the boys! We've served with uh, every single one of you. Thank you for. Oh! Oh, okay. okay. You are. F oh, shit.
Hey, what's up, chat? That's finishing. Eating and then, you know. What just happened? What did that dude just do? I was finishing eating and then you know, you just get, sometimes you just gotta give yourself a nice. Oh yeah, just a nice, just a nice blast. Oh, just right on. Yep. And then you're good to go. That's all you need. Okay. Um. Well. Okay. Uh, we have options today. Don't ask about the character model. I'm on 2.0, but let's see if my model's even in, because it's being put in. It's <coughs> I don't know if I got put in yet, is what I'm trying to say. I got no fucking money. And 3.0, we still have a lot of shit going on, so. That can't be real. Alright, so I'll be at the end, right? You guys tell what that last one is? That's all. I sneeze. <coughs> oh, shit. Oh. It would just be the same one, wouldn't it? Fuck, well, I don't think it's in. Fucking dying? Yeah, it's not him. Yeah, he told me, uh, he told me it's coming in. I think I'll be in next restart. In that case, 3.0 is popping off right now, no? I did make Richardson, though, so we could do Richardson on 2.0 for now. Okay, Richardson 2.0 or 3.0 right now. And Richardson later. 3.0 now and Richardson later. Or Richardson now and 3.0 later. Holy shit. Everyone is spamming 3.0. Actually crazy. That's interesting. And the server is full with a fucking queue. Oh. Oh, my neck. 
I fucking cleaned the jet skis today, chat. I didn't take them out, but I took the covers off, sprayed them down, wiped them down, took everything out of them, cleaned the insides, pulled up the engine a little bit, started it up, ran some water through it. So they good to go. But, oh man, I think I'm dehydrated. I did anyone see me on 2.0 yet? I'm just I'm just curious on any other stream. Anybody? Cuz I was trying to fucking get to the clothing store and let's just say Jesus, man. The amount of run-ins I had just trying to get to the clothing store. Yeah, where'd you see me? I wasn't talking like myself, but I <laughs> No, not sad. It was real quick. It was like an hour ago. Right, even less. Yeah, less, way less than an hour. Let's see if anything blanked in any leaks yet. Okay, what kind of what kind of mind games is this? Yeah, I'm gonna give more info to uh, Medi for sure. <coughs> Actually, chat. Yeah. Wow. Oh my lord. Yeah, what the fuck, dude? The RP is, is crazy in 3.0 right now. I ain't gonna lie. So maybe it's good that my ped's not in 2.0 yet. It's making me keep uh, the, the storyline going. Let's see if Brian's around. Actually... Hey, oops, I almost tweeted that. The Simone Files. The Simone Files, Jenny Hall. This song, what's up with this? They leaked the text. quiet after that, huh? <laughs> I want to get Brian a call too. We're not a call. We we gotta think about what we what we want to info dump to him. Let's let's just prepare. That got me excited.
fuck is that? Yaku! Holy oh, motherfucker, come here! What the Yaku? Come here! Five minutes till he left, bro. My timing with the lang is crazy. Every time I hit him up, it's like right when he dip. Be back an hour. All right, we'll hit him up. You know what we should call Brian? Oh, I got something sick we can do. Okay. All right. Chat. Let me relax. Let me relax. I got to get ready here. I got to relax. Oh, it's in? Oh shit, maybe I'll uh... Alright, well, we'll go over there at some point. I got, I got really excited though, there's some things I have to do. Oh, it's capital, the capitals matter I guess? Alright, well, anyways, let me, uh, stay focused and get some shit done here. The hell? Where'd that dude just go? Alright, we'll do it later. Two point ain't going nowhere, so you know what I mean? And if anything, if people kind of progress a little bit and then we come in as like for real the underdog, I think that would be even more fun to be honest. That's why I want I want to get pissed on and shit on. <laughs> I want to get pissed on and shit on. Is there a problem with that, Rud Rudolph? Rudolfo? Am I even saying it right? I was gonna say, this person sounds super familiar. Army's a snitch? <laughs> Honestly, I might be a little bitch too and like... We'll see. I'm telling you, I don't want to be a fucking big dog. I want to. I want to get kicked, fucking pissed on. <laughs> I just think because you, you guys fucking reaction is hilarious. I want to get fucking kicked, spit on, pissed on, rob my money, take a shit on me. Pegged. Okay, dude. Now you're projecting. Now you're projecting.
fuck? I got no cash? Uh... Max with the 4,500 stars. Appreciate you. Kevin Q with the gate. Kevin Q with the Kevin, keep with the great work and never stop doing what you're doing. You're always hilarious and entertaining to watch. Also, anyone clip what he's saying. No, don't listen to that last part. Don't listen to that last part. Okay. I need to find... We need a grapple or some shit. What are pigeons in this realm? I need to find all right relax I need to uh... I need like an audio recording like an old-school audio recording old old brainwashing tape I need like some weird like just brainwashing. Not Stanford University near San Francisco. The anxiety that you've been also counts. Karen, why don't you tell me some more about the anxiety that you've been feeling? I feel. No, I need. I need like. I'd loose in 1970. I doctor Ewan Cam through a front organ project worldwide. Rep no less. No world psychiatric. Chat, you know what I'm looking you know what I'm talking about? I'm looking for like uh Just a quick little clip I can play him that just something just talks about brainwashing. Sensitize me. Just anything, it can be fake. I print someone is just saying something about brainwashing. So he can get the hint. I need a short fucking. Secret medical experiments designed to help win the Cold War. Sure. Developing techniques for my. Wait, is this copyright though, dude? Am I. In control. To create a so called Manchurian candidate. What is. In the wake of World War II, the U.S. government is engaged in a large number of secret medical experiments designed to help win the Cold War. Developing techniques for mind control to create a so-called Manchurian candidate. Oh! How do I play shit from video to in-game is the question. Can I, should I just do it from my phone? Might sound like ass. It might actually make it sound a little creepier. Let's just use our phone. See how it sounds. Alrighty, let's see. I can even, uh... I think I can record it so I can hear what it sounds like. Or two. The U.S. government is engaged in a large number of secret medical experiments designed to help men. Or two. 
the U.S. government is engaged in a large number of secret medical experiments. Oh, I already know how to do this. Oh, dude. All right, cool. Okay, ready? In the wake of World War II, the U.S. government is engaged in a large number of secret medical experiments designed to help win the Cold War. Developing techniques for mind control to create a so-called Manchurian candidate. What is... Ah, oh, shit. In the wake of World War II, the U.S. government is engaged in a large number of secret medical experiments designed to help win the Cold War. Developing techniques for mind control to create a so-called Manchurian candidate. What is... That's good. <laughs> All right, it's a... <laughs> He's gonna be like, what the fuck? I think there's a payphone up here. anyway night what am i going to say in the wake of world war ii the u.s government is engaged in a large number of secret medical experiments designed to help win the cold war oh shit developing techniques for mind control to create a so-called manchurian candidate what is th oh, in the I've wake seen this of movie. in the wake of world war ii the u.s in the wake of World War II, the, the U.S. <laughs> government is engaged in a large number of secret medical experiments designed to help win the Cold War. <laughs> Developing techniques for mind control. What the fuck is this still playing, man? I can't stop it. Manchurian <laughs> candidate. What is? Okay, we're good. Ah, oh, shit, dude. Okay, message received. I need to get another document, a packet, a packet made for him. What should I? All right, well, I I need to look back at my notes and connections here. Let me pull over. Actually, it might be better if we just go to the courthouse. Yeah, maybe the church info. Yeah, maybe that because I showed him a lab. I'll show him another lab. I don't have to give him all the juice right away. You know, we know the Bundy's involvement. We know Jenny Hall. We know Copper. Um, Serge Cross is a massive one. His girlfriend Flossie. Uh, that place up, Dahlia Fay or whatever. So that place up in 
the wild child place in Polito. There's a lot. Andy Jones, all that shit. Steal a car. Brian Priority knows about the brainwashing shit, I would imagine. Especially since Gunner was brainwashed in the past. Let's see if, uh... Hello. Holy shit, man. You guys shut that dude up on Twitter real quick. What do you, what do you mean? Next a moment. He hasn't tweeted out ever since. Well, <laughs> what do you expect? You know, he, uh, he needs his daddy to handle all his affairs. Yeah, okay, okay. Anything fucking go down after that? Uh, what do you mean? Did he uh he make any moves? No, no, of course not. All right, so we're still where we left off. Pretty much, yeah. All right, I've been looking into some shit, but uh, you know, kind of just laying low. Shit's been getting fucking crazy. How how, how crazy? I don't know, man. The city's fucking eerie, isn't it? Yeah, it is eerie. It's very quiet, almost too quiet. Exactly. What the fuck are the Simones planning, you know? Yeah, well, you never fucking know. We'll be in touch, all right? Let me know. Yeah, keep, keep me updated. I'll, right, I'll try to keep you updated as well. All right. All right, bye. All right. Didn't Search Cross have another place, too? I gotta look up all the addresses again. This is Wailing Gray, but we found a few labs and a few properties, I remember. Ministry of Divine Order. I'm a real chat doing this shit solo it even makes it a little more uh, intense, you know what I mean? Because if I come across the wrong people when I'm alone, like, even though we're Mr. K, we're fucked. It's rigged with a fucking explosive.
Tja. being watched oh hey it's lando <clears throat> oh can what's up meet? lando can we meet top secret yeah what's going on okay i got info for you all right where do you want to link up all right be at the chuma uh, not chumash the dean's world pier and be ready to jump onto my tugboat okay dean's world pier that's where that's where seaside is oh fuck get like okay so I can meet I'm you gonna, at the yacht. Yeah, meet on the yacht and jump off and get on my tugboat. Okay, all right. I'm going to be there. You'll see me coming up. I'll be five minutes, okay? I'm on the way. All right, perfect. Bye. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, the RP is intertwined like crazy. I'll put my chatterbox mask on. So it's more believable that I'm Chatterbox. Alright, Lando wants to talk about some shit. Hello? Hey, something changed. I can't meet now. I have to go. But I have information good? to tell you. Yeah, I'm good. But I gotta go. I gotta be ready. Alright, call me when you can. I'll call you when I can. Bye bye.
I was gonna say, is that fucking Lando? Alright, ready? Crowd control. Two chairs. No, it's a fucking joke, chat. Right? All right, I need to find Brian. Oh, I need to actually do one more thing. ministry right Who died yesterday? Why does that look like Serge Cross's car for some reason? Did I see someone's car like that? Oh shit. Mama? Brian? No, it was UPD. This music, though. Yeah, all right. Perfect vibe. What the fuck is going on? That shit is clean, right? Go check out the morgue.
car is this? in this vibe right here. What the fuck is going on here? Ryan, they have the two year resub. Matthew, they have the two years. Brian, they have the two years. Terrence, they have the two years. Uh, Skipper, they have the one year and 11 months. Eric, they have the year and four months. I've never caught an iguana with that. Dr. Blake. Who's Dr. Blake? Gotta be Brian. I imagine there's not too many cops on. I don't think this is the guy that just drove past us. Brian doesn't drive SUVs. Brian stops the lights though. I don't know. Got his ass. Oh, shit. <laughs> I love dropping it this way. I don't know why. Yeah, what is this playlist? I'm, I'm, I'm digging it, dude. Make sure these links work, yeah.
All right, the next piece we should send them. Let me go to the courthouse and look some shit up because I kind of forget. There was more shit on Surge, too. Chris Kurt. That was a clean drop off. I wonder if he noticed I was following him and then eventually just stopped. Hey, you can't be wearing masks in here. Yaku! Oh, sh oh my god, it's your face. My apologies. I, I I sincerely apologize. I didn't mean that. Yuck back. Okay, I understandable. Understandable. I next I apologize. It works. Hey, boss man, how you doing? Oh, you know, don't, 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 don't. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so the account's looking pretty robust right now. I just wanted you to know, you know, if you need a couple million or something like that, you can easily dig it out without breaking anything. Um, I'm going to be doing payouts today. Uh, I wanted to check on something, and now I forgot what it was. Um, fuck. Well, it clearly doesn't matter that much. Anyway, um, anything you need from me? Um, no, I think we're all good. Oh, by the way, um, you're going to love this. Did you, you didn't catch the um, trial of Bass and Bass versus Pred and Wrangler. What happened? Oh, my God. Literally, Bass, for the life of him, could not do a non-leading question. So he was like, basically... Um, Murphy got fired as his prosecution and uh, he couldn't do anything like he had to do it all on his own because Murphy and Wrangler got into something and Murphy not might might not have his bar license, blah, blah, blah. So he got fired as prosecution. So then fucking uh, <laughs> then fast had to do it on his own. 
And it was the most hilarious, not like objections that you have ever seen over and over and over again as he tried to rephrase questions to not be leading. Even having the judges tell him how leading works and him still fucking it up. And they well, finally had to take you, you it to know the why? back. Because, you know, yeah. for the most part, Bass is a pretty good cop, so, you know, he don't go to court too often, you know? Yeah. Exactly, Wrangler knows what he's doing with court because he's, oh, he's always in court. court. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, it was just it was deeply funny though to see the the head of the police unable to you know put together a simple leading. Uh, oh my not God, leading he needed question. me. He needed me there. He needed you. He needed you since Furby couldn't be there for him. Oh my God. But yeah, I just thought you get a quick kick out of that. I might write something up for LSB on on that. All right. Like you, Wrang um... Wrangler bullies the shit out of Bass in court, you know, or something like that. Yeah. That could be a good headline, good headline. Anyway. All right. Well, I just wanted to say hi, boss, and hope you're doing well, and hope your day's going well. Yeah, yeah. okay. Come away if you need anything. All right. Oh, uh, Raymond's about to call you, too. All right. Someone call gonna, me. He wants to stir the pot on something. I'll see you. Oh, okay. Okay. My friend was in there. All right. Golden accent. Yo, boss. All right. I, I want to tell you something about the fucking disrespect I just found out, huh? Disrespect? You know, What's going on, man? You, Vinny coming back that, on supplies with you? No, it's not fucking Vinny. You know that as Valdo motherfucker? Yeah, as Valdo, the Cuban. This, this son of a bitch. Fucking six months ago, I tell him, hey, you know what? You're a good fucking security. I'm going to make you the best fucking Cubana you ever fucking heard of, huh? Ooh. But it's going to take me some fucking time. I don't like to fucking really cook the grill in the fucking winter. Just wait until the summertime, okay? I'm fucking getting ready to do it. Fucking Santa Claus comes into my fucking restaurant and puts a Cubano on the fucking ground for a fucking me? burger shot. Saying vote for Isvaldo. Are you the from Burger From fucking Burger Shot, they're selling my Cubano idea. From bur Burger Shot? From Who's getting a Cubano burger from fucking Burger Shot? shot? Fucking is Valdo's idea. Hey, since I'm running for fucking mayor, I want to be in the politics. Oh, bye, bye, bye. Chef fucking drama, chat. Chef shots. drama. This motherfucker <laughs> works for Little Soul and he's selling out a burger shop? How dare he fucking make a sandwich? You know he's what? I'm going to talk to him for you. Dead. I'm going to talk to him. I'm going to set him fucking straight. I'm going to set him to the bottom of the fucking ocean. <laughs> you know what? I think it's time you fucking send him a, you know, give him a little visit and beat him down a little bit. Shove some fucking it, pizza down his throat. Yeah, yeah, you know what? Fuck the pizza. I'm not going to shove, I'm going to shove a fucking pineapple up his fucking ass. Oh my God. The wrong way too. You a fucking freak, right? Hey, I got to do what I got to fucking do, huh? All right, man. Yeah, you got to, he got to learn to respect your food. So do what you got to so do. If you see that motherfucker, you tell him to watch his fucking back, okay? Oh, I will. Oh, I will. All right, I'll talk to you, boss. All right, peace. The beef is real. The beef is real. Oh shit. Nick Simone's around. Is that Anto? Oh shit. Up, Brian. I wonder his reaction to that info. Because I'm curious to know how much Brian actually already knows.
You know, I, I could even, um... Damn, I should have kept a few of those pictures from that picture book, actually. I could have sent some to Brian. Dahlia Faye we have to grab too. What? What does she look like again? Say show Bob. Stupid clown, stupid clown. Yuck you, mother oh, yucka! No. Yuck back! Fuck face, bro. Oh, fuck, fuck face, fuck face. Yuck back! Oh, what you gonna do about it? You ain't gonna do nothing. You gonna take this tickle with a smile on your face, bitch. Pull over. I got this, I got this. That was a lot of cops. I'm kind of whipping this thing. Hello? Hey, what's up, Kay? How you doing? I'm getting chased by the fucking cops right now. Oh, fuck. Are you, uh, are you, are you still interested in Nick or are you done with him? Um, I mean, is there any uh, more developments? Well, I mean, a bunch of leaks went out today. We just, I think he's circling the, uh, the ICC in like a white sports car. What's the ICC again? It's a nerd's uh, mansion. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what's funny? Lando called me not too long ago saying he had some uh, important info for me and wanted to meet alone. And then he called it off. Yeah, I think I think it's because, you know, we're, we're, we might be under threat. Did you, did you see the, the twats that went out today? Yeah, I saw. He went real quiet on Twitter for a bit after that. Yeah, the, uh, the Zakid one, he really did it. <laughs> and, and he's furious right now. No sight for Michael since? Nothing, nothing from Michael. No, we got shit on him. It's just like Nick's the one with the ego, you know. I, the, the thing is, 
I feel like he's already been dealt with. You know, he's like. Ah. Yeah, but you know, if a pest keeps coming back, you gotta keep laying traps, I guess. That's right. That's right. Um, you know, maybe uh, maybe if you get out of that police chase, you know, he might be dumb enough to come here. You know, he's kind of sloppy. I think he's losing that. All right, I'll creep around and uh, see if I can poke him up or something. Yeah, you give me a cool view. I need a hand. All right, I got gotcha. you. Okay, good luck. Merging back on Mars. I'm in a piece of shit car. I'm almost losing him. Fuck, I thought I had him there. Should have kept going. I should uh, put like a boat or something in place at least. What was I about to do before that? I'm just gonna go after Dahlia Faye or Surge or some shit. Yeah, courthouse. Um, let's put a boat or some shit down, just in case, chat. Actually, I should put one of my cars in the near the water for a pickup, and then a boat. Like in Subway? Yeah, I don't think we need to do all that. Uh, 
Oh, this thing's gas. That was a clean getaway. That car, that car felt like it was zooming. Turning is pretty ass and brakes, but. Pump it up. I did, yeah, I was driving pretty damn clean. I felt good too. Jason, they have the two year resub. Chase with the one year. Mike with the five months. Uh, Alex, they have the two years. Tim, they have the year. Uh, the, pretty much the two years. Dana with the year and three months. Appreciate you. Yeah, I can't get caught too. I'm on fucking parole. I'm curious about this meeting with Lando. And why is Nick Simone circling their block? I didn't have to serve time for my uh, court case because uh, it was already three days. So we were already uh, all dealt with. Yeah, I don't know where Bobby Brown is either. It's always good to see Bobby. Bobby Brown. What's today? Monday, chat? Monday. Tomorrow's Tuesday. Let me check. Uh, what's tomorrow looking like? And after Tuesday's Wednesday. Yay! Trying to see. Why are they in the two year resub? Yeah, I don't know how I was found guilty from the case, but whatever. I ain't getting caught on parole, so I'm already down. I only have two years of parole left, right? So today and tomorrow. Oh, shit. Your holiday starts on Wednesday. What holiday? Spring break? Oh, yeah. The second batch of spring break is this week. Is it is Easter this weekend?
All right, we're good. Got a boat and a car. That's all we need. Uh, platform update, hopefully the end of this month. Uh, we'll know we're going to be long term. We're still uh, just on a short term temporary thing. What up, what up? Okay. What we got here? A lot of cops around today. Go to the ICC, see if we see Nick Simone lurking around. I wonder if that has connection as why to Lando called off the meeting. The fuck is this? thing real quick. I don't remember if Dolly if had a picture. I don't think she had a picture. I don't think we even know what she looks like. There was a lot of doctors at the morgue. It might be a good day to snatch a doctor. Were we able to check this one yesterday? Did she have a weird one?
Bobby the Predator Brown. Gone but not forgotten. Crown Citadel. So what's going on right here, son? Apparently Nick Simone's been circling it. See if anyone drives by. Hello and chill. Kevin, how fast can you drink a bottle of water? Not fast. Do I have a go-to wine I like? Nah, I just drink whatever. Phil, they with the uh, year resub in nine months. Lando's gonna call back. Pretty sure there was some weird stuff in this house.
And it's in a documentary. This could have been the fucking coffin Simone was in. And Dolly of Fate, does she have keys here? Doesn't, but picture perfect. Drift King. We zoom in. Yeah, I know. I just do the good old copy paste into the Discord to get the pictures. This one's been locked the past few days. going on over there
Why did this hum, hum me? Did my car fucking flagged the stone? We got a dip. Oh, good. What the fuck? I am so confused right now. Goes over here, dude. This is a nicely designed house. Looks clean though. Is this the right one? Shit, this is the wrong one. What the fuck? I don't think this is even the right one. this One more over this one. Uh, it's 21. I guess it was this one right here. I know, remember Charles used to get uh, caught robbing houses in, uh, in the south side? Let's see what the fuck's going on there.
There was a hell of doctors in here earlier. A lot of suspicious people. They were all in here before. Leave anything behind? You guys remember this place? Jeremy, they have a two year, one month resub. Aaron, they have the one year and five months. Took the hospital. Yeah, doctor died, which might be good because that'll bring a bunch of the other doctors here. Are they? They might be in the hospital together, mourning, or at the graveyard. The holdouts we used to have in there. Uh, thank you, thank you. You too, and no more maze bank. Uh, I will try my best, but I want to make a promise. Okay, okay. See if we can find them. They're probably hanging out somewhere. Oh, they like to hang out at the fire station. Bro, why have we never looked at the fire station in front of these people? room is this? Hmm. Yeah, fire stations, um, definitely the EMS hub. I'm sure one of those lockpicks from Vinny. Oh, 
On the roof, they took away the ladders, though. Hmm. Let's check that hospital. Oh yeah! Mr. K, are we doing? Bro, oh, what the fuck? What's up? This is a bunch of barricades out front of the Legion Square Bank. What the fuck? How's it going, K? Shit, uh, Lang leaked some files today on Jenny Hall. Ooh. <clears throat> Just been searching around, and I'm saying, doing little things here and there. You find anything, anything? Nothing yet. Got a few things I'm working on, but same old. All right, all right. All right, okay, okay. Anything new happen? No, no. I mean, we're at war with Seaside, or not Seaside, the Ballers. Ballers for what? I don't know. Some dumb shit. They said some shit to Vinny and called their their gang dead, so they started puffing their chest to hide the morning. So we fought them, and or they they uh they robbed Jordan when he was by himself. Jesus, man! Distractions, they distractions. They're trying to fucking distract you. Die. And then we we had a fight and we smoked them and then we took a spray from them. So, all right. But I don't want to deal with that shit. You know, I just I have too many things going on that I don't want to deal with. Yeah, you gotta stay focused, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So you've been dealing with the shit. What? Yeah, apparently Nick Simone's around. Um, a doctor died yesterday. I'm trying to find out who. Uh, also, I, oh, 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 actually, there's no shit. I went into uh, Parsons yesterday. Uh -huh. And Jenny Hall was in there. I, was, I went in there to look for, like, any secret doors and shit, which I think I found one. So we yeah. need to kidnap someone to uh, unlock and see what's in there. Anyways, yeah, Jenny Hall was in there. Fucking cracked out of her mind. And then I ran into Winston Walker. Mm -hmm. The chicken nugget. Um, okay. I didn't get to really question or anything. The cops showed up real quick and I had to fucking dip, but... Winston Walker, somebody we need to uh, maybe bring into the picture, yeah. Fuck, As in being involved. One. Which I could see. He's part of that whole group. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, are you by yourself or not? Yeah, let's hop on the radio. Okay, uh, what radio do you want to get on? 454.3. Alright, sounds good. I'll drop it on there. Alright. Alright, bye. Check the graveyard, see if they're having a funeral. I forgot about the uh, Winston Walker shit. Oh. Feels so good at cracking that. Go away. Anto Murphy, what's the story? Well, 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 it isn't the head Lula himself. What's the story there, Kay? What's been going on, Lula? Not much. Just been, you know, lamped out, Lula? In a, lamped out in a beat uh, for a fair four or five months there. You know what I'm saying? Don't really remember much, but... You know, it was an experience, my man. 
Yeah, quite the experience you can't fucking remember. I know, well, that's what I'm talking about. Any experience that you can't remember is a good experience in my book, you know what I mean? I don't know if that's something good to live by, but okay, I'll take it. What's going on? What's the story? What's been going on in the old city? I tried to, uh, not gonna lie, I tried to jump on a train there and uh, I couldn't get into, you know, the other the other counties. So uh, I popped in to pay a few bills and see what's going on. Shit, just a whole bunch of fucking investigation shit, you know, corruption, shit like that. I mean, that's how you do it, isn't it? You love the whole corruption, don't you? You fucking corrupt bastard. You are fucking sick fuck, you are, me. You still working with the cops or what's going on? We know we're still working with the cops. What are you fucking talking about? I was I never saw, working I saw with Miguel the cops. Been telling me. What do you mean that's what Miguel been telling me? Don't be listening to him. He's not even a true Irish man. Okay? Don't be trusting the Brits. Do you hear what I'm saying there? Okay. What's he been fucking feeding you? What uh, information? You think it's, you what think it's a personal matter? Been saying huh? I'm not. Well, yeah, with that lord, I wouldn't know. You know, you wouldn't trust Miguel as far as you could throw him. You know what I mean? Hop on or the radio. He's somewhere. on the radio right now. 454.3. Oh, fucking hell am I getting? Okay. What was it? What's the radio? 454.3. 454.3? Yeah. 454.3. Me, me memory's not what it used to be. You know, must have been three months in the beta. I have to go get a radio now, so I might be on in a few minutes, are we? Alright, have one. 454.3. This fucking guy. <laughs> Did they bury him yet? Don't move. Oh, just sweeping. What are you doing down here? I'm the groundskeeper out here, so I keep this place clean. Groundskeeper? What's your name? Mm -hmm. Pierce Iron. Peter's Iron? Uh, Pierce Iron. Pierce Iron. Yes, sir. Any new bodies coming lately? No, it, it's been quiet, and it's really freaking me out. How long have you worked here? Uh... At least about a little over a year, I think. A little over a year. You've buried many bodies. I do not bury bodies. <laughs> I uh, I just mow and I, I sweep and keep things clean. You know, change out the trash bags. Mm. Things like that. Any famous people you've had to bury before? Uh... I uh, oh, once attended fuck. the funeral of uh, Sam Bass and Shelly Smith's daughter. Mm. Not oh. directly. I oh. was there mowing. You ever see someone fake their death before? That stuff's so cool. No. Oh. Holy shit. I mean, how would they do with that? How is that even possible? I don't know. Oh. Or like they bury him with the bell like they did long ago and Bro, start what? ringing it say, hey, I'm alive down here. Huh. Interesting. Hey, you might give that's me a why, tour of the where, grounds. Uh, that's where Dead Ringer came from. You might give me a nice tour of the grounds, or? Sure, sure, come on. Oh, make sure before you leave here you say fuck Greg. Oh, why, why is that? Uh, if you don't, then the spirit of Greg has a chance of, uh, you know, taking control of you. Oh, okay. You know this uh, little sign over here, graffiti? I've been trying to scrub it for over a year. It, it just keeps coming back. Huh, this ground looks fresh here, too. Yeah, uh, that's another anomaly. Grave robbers? Know. Could be. One day, one day people were spilling oil over here, and they, let a ki they left a candle next to it. Oh. I think they're trying to cause a fire. Bro, I cannot believe we just found this dude down here sweeping. Uh, <laughs> also, you know, people mess with these little, uh, you know, side sp spots. Uh, had a guy that was putting uh, balance uh, scales down here and uh, chess pieces. Chess pieces? Yeah, it's like a riddle. And huh. he put chess pieces on uh, headstones out in the cemetery. Big Fuck, what are you even saying about me, you black dog? Yeah, yeah. All right. You want the uh, speed run or just you'd like to take a stroll? Uh, we could do an in between little speed, little stroll. 
Alright, well, let's head to the island. Someone pulling up. There's many, 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 many people that have funerals here. I don't know if all the bodies are here or if they just, you know, ceremonial thing. Hmm. Like a, a temporary lot. casket. Yes. I heard a uh, doctor passed away recently. You know if they're having a funeral uh, over here? I have no idea. Sometimes they, there is a person that uh, started a storefront that is also going to do funerals. She bought a hearse and everything. Oh, who's that? Oh, what was her name? Uh, where she's around right now. I don't know. But uh, she has a unique uh, yellow page ad. You'll see it with never you know, she's around. I tried to get her to uh, help me out with a, a funeral for a box of dead rats. Funeral for she a said, box of dead rats? Yeah. Who was this? Yeah. I don't... I don't... Uh, let me look at my contacts. Uh-oh. This might be them... Having experiments on rats. And then doing it on fucking people. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't remember her damn name. Shit. Well, anyways, yeah, those rats, uh, they were in our warehouse. I'm also a co-owner at Smoking the Water. And so we had to get them all exterminated. And then I said, what are you going to do with those? They said, oh, just throw them in the trash. I said, well, I'll take them. And uh, I was going to have a funeral for them. But... Uh, lately I've just been giving them to cats that like to eat them. Oh, that's that's very nice and thoughtful of you. Yeah, there's one particular at Burger Shot. He loves them. He For real chat, at first I door. thought I, I thought I ran into Michael Simone by accident. All right, this is gonna be a long <laughs> jot here. We gotta go up to observation deck. Couple fun facts about the observation deck. Uh, I, I witnessed uh, somebody with a table back there in the bushes. Table doing doing some chemistry stuff. Oh my yeah. god! And uh, kind of freaked me out. And then one night I come over here and there was uh, blood, blood pulled up down here real big, and there was three feathers, and there was a note that said, "I miss you." Never did figure that one out. Huh, maybe some witchcraft shit, or maybe yeah. someone was using this little uh, telescope here. And yeah, you can use that telescope in the back. to kind of peek around. And uh, next stop, we'll uh, hit Michael Simone's grave. Oh, Michael Simone, who's that? Apparently, he was a terrorist, which uh, surprises me that they had even let him get buried here. Oh, well, 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 chat. What are the but, odds? Uh, yeah, so it's uh, it's kind of broken because some I guess some rival gang members come out here and they were hitting it with the uh, hammers and bats. Oh, my God. Well, yeah. I guess he wasn't a uh, loved individual. Not by everybody, apparently, but he had a girlfriend and he's got a brother in town. I met his brother, Nick Simone. Oh, it was his girlfriend. Flossie Gray, I think oh. her name is. I never heard of her. Oh, yeah. well, how long has he been so, dead for? Oh gosh, uh, months, I think. I uh, well, I kind of snuck, I staked it out like one night because I was tired of them messing with it up in those bushes, and I got a good couple photos of them. Oh, what and, you got? Uh, what's that? What kind of pictures you got? Uh, pictures of them, you know, attacking this headstone. Oh my god, who was it? Yeah, uh, Marabunta. Marabunta? Yeah. Huh. They, uh, they really don't like this guy, apparently. 
And you know, you see these chunks here, they're very heavy. We haven't been able to move them yet. Uh, also, before this all happened, somebody dug up his grave. Who dug up the grave? That, I don't know. The cops didn't give me much info on that. Huh. They well, what cops were involved? And, oh, God. About half the PD. About all the troopers and... Uh, huh. Sounds like yeah. Copper or something. Yeah, Copper, Jenny Hall. she's a... Uh, yep, and Snow, you know, Mr. Snow. Oh, those three. Those three were involved. Yeah, Mr. Snow, though, he's... What the... He's more uh, into... Uh, so I, I uh, met, apparently, I met this guy named Norman Bones, which they told me is a, a, a serial killer. Uh, he was nothing but cordial with me, so I don't know. He didn't seem that mean to me. Hmm. Uh, but uh, Officer Snow, he's like, oh, anytime you see him or hear from him or anything, get a hold of me. Okay. Guess that's his his mess. Hmm, yeah, it's really freaky. I, I asked the cops if they're gonna, you know, dig it up themselves to see if the body's still there or if anything was missing. I mean, they if the body the wasn't there, answer. I mean, what, what would you do? I don't know. I mean, what would you do with the corpse? Okay, never mind. I don't want to know. I oh my god, it's like that movie we were talking about. Maybe he's not a corpse. Did they dig oh, him god. up right after he was buried? Uh, not long after, yeah. Oh my god. What if he wasn't dead? Huh. Well, I mean, why else would they thing. dig up a He'd body, alive. right? Yeah. Well, his bro brother was relieved whenever I gave him those photos. He said the very next day I call him. He said, "Oh yeah, it's taken care of." Uh, okay. <laughs> oh my God! Is some kind of type of gangsters? Uh, yeah, he uh, he heads up a gang called uh, Seaside. Oh, I think I've heard of them. Yeah, their base of operations is not far from here. Wow. Yeah. This is their, their turf. Well, they consider this their turf. But Got a lot of history here at this graveyard. Thing. Yeah. And, uh, you know, next stop is the open grave. All right. I think, you, I think you need to jump, boss. Bro, what the hell? This is what I love about roleplay. Uh, you just a, run into shit. Joe, you know that store called That's Weird? Uh, That's Weird. Sounds familiar. Where, where's it at? It's across from the comedy club. Yeah, they they put on ghost tours, and sometimes they come out here. Oh, yeah, I did one of those when they were down at uh, Dean's oh. World. Nice. Long time ago. Did you see anything crazy? Oh, actually, yeah. I think someone got possessed by that Greg monster down there. Sometimes you'll find someone here. And in fact, unfortunately, I was found here not long ago. What the? Yeah, somebody apparently uh, tried to murder me and they threw me in uh, this hole. And uh, the cops had to drag me out and take me to the hospital. Really, uh, I don't have a lot of memory of it, but it just seems awful Jesus hopefully it wasn't yeah. uh, those marabuntas it could be if they if they knew I took that photo yeah exactly maybe maybe they found out and yeah, sometimes they'll somebody will be thrown in there and they'll write their name up here on the wall and I gotta scrub it off Ugh, they don't pay the could, fees right you can just bury people for free death ain't free yeah no isn't it crazy how you, you get taxed when you die? Nothing's free, even death. Even death, they get you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. But if you, I know, I found out that if you don't have any family or friends, you know, or any money that they can come after, uh, at least in my old hometown, they buried you in a cardboard box. Oh, I guess go for the environment. Yeah, right? That's like a <laughs> speed run. Yeah, these, you don't even need a coffin when you're dead, I really, right? You know? Yeah. I mean, I told my family, just incinerate my ass. And then, you know, do what you will with the ashes. I'd prefer they just spread them and get rid of them. 
Oh, maybe they could turn them into a nice facial cream. Uh, you know, the ash can help pull out uh, some of the oils. Yeah. There was a lady that was uh, obsessed with eating her husband's ashes. Oh. Oh, wow. She was probably a really nice lady. Could be. I'll show you next my one of my favorite features of this place. Yeah, you know that church there uh, run by Reverend Bowen? He takes care of, you know, you know, arrangements and payments. But I never I've never met him personally. Oh, Reverend stays, Boland? Uh, Boland, yeah, he's he stays inside locked up tight, I guess. Oh, okay. Huh. Oh, before I get to one of my favorite features, I want to show you odd oddity. Down here on the brick or uh, you should be able to see like a face. What the fuck? Of something like a I see animal that. or something? Yeah, what, what is that? I, I'm not sure. <laughs> but I took photos of it and tried to show it to people, see if they knew, and nobody knew what it was for. I've seen that maybe behind the Bundy store. Oh, yeah, maybe. Maybe some kids doing some art. Yeah, like maybe they're here for a heat, Easter egg hunt. Huh? All right. This phone booth. This phone booth is one of my favorite things. Oh, what's this? It's perfectly, perfectly secluded for prank calls. Oh, might have to come and use it. Oh yeah, for sure. You prank call people? Every now and then, when I get. Oh, uh, let me see a I prank get... call. Call someone from the yellow pages. Oh. Um... I'll look to see if somebody I can get. All right. I copy this guy's number onto my phone's clipboard. What is that little monkey? I seen that. I don't know if that's a GTA thing or just cuz I've seen that a few in a few spots. Leo Escobar says he's had got a bomb. Oh, should I'm be a good one. Buy it. Huh? It should be a good one. Yeah. Oh my god, Leo. God, maybe it already detonated. Huh. I guess we're too late. That sucks. Ah, oh, fuck. Bombs must be hot commodities around here. Yeah, some people are just leery of uh, unknown callers and just don't answer. There's that too. But, you know, if you don't use these phone booths, you're going to lose them, you know? Yeah, true. I mean, they're getting out of date, aren't they? Yeah. Reverend, uh... Oh, hey, what did you say the you? name of the reverend was that owned this place? Uh, uh Voland. He's, uh, his name's oh. up there on the sign in front of the church. Oh, Reverend Voland. The sign, okay. yeah. Yeah, everyone says that he has, they've seen him. Well, not everyone, but a lot of people said they've seen him back in the day, but they haven't seen him lately. Hmm. Snow, Jenny, and Copper were a part of the fucking situation when the grave got dug up. That is crazy. Uh, I know a good one that in the past I did was uh, someone was selling uh, refrigerated storage units, and uh, I asked him, you know, uh, I basically beat around the bush uh, asking him how much uh, if we can store bodies there. <laughs> And uh, they did not uh, appreciate that. 
It was a. Uh, okay, it was a fellow named. Uh, what was his name? Oh, I can I can bring it up. He he sent me a contract. Oh, he had a contract and everything. Yeah, he wanted me to get a contract. So you know, if I ever actually wanted to buy a storage unit, uh, but his contract. Ah, Nino Chavez. His contract says Nino Chavez. Nino Chavez is my daddy. That's it. I guess that's his backburn to me. Nino Chavez. Why would he be your daddy? I don't know. That's definitely my, my dad. My dad is uh, old and retired. Oh, that's weird. Maybe uh, maybe it was his dad. Oh, yeah, maybe. Nino Chavez. <laughs> Oh my god, you remember that arc? Around. But I like I don't print call her. I need I need to call her to get my camera again. Oh, I can call someone random. Yeah, we could do random. I'm just not good at you know improvising. The oh, fuck, Vinny? Someone's selling an Asbo. What the fuck is Vinny on? Blue Jeff. They're not fucking with 2.0? Well, a blue, a blue man group, that's what it is. I'm gonna see if that's who they he quit. Two point What the fuck? <laughs> hey, my man Zach with the five gifted. Appreciate that love, sure bro. And the two year and four month Risa, my man. Oftentimes you'll end up calling them with your own phone. Yeah, you gotta be careful. Don't want to expose yourself. <laughs> yeah, I've done that at the worst. Bro, time. we ran into a great NPC right here. Yeah, I remember viewers just to spam it when he played Nino. Nino Chavez. Know, play. Somebody pick up? It's a phone call. It's not going to kill you, right? Nobody's picking up? No. It's just scared of the unknown number. Try that uh, Leo guy again. Maybe he was busy. Give my prior to him. How the fuck am I going to do that? <laughs> you know who this is, chat? Did he stream? Uh, when was that? Okay, five minutes ago. Damn it. I got to hmm, I'll, I'll add him to my address bar to make it easier for this. I wonder if he's one of them Cuban federales. They got a like a base at where the old clothing store used to be. Oh god, my phone's giving me the wheel of death. Any state ID though? Wait, what? Wait, 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 hold on. I get on this radio. 101.1. It might pop off. You guys dead or in in police custody? I don't know. Damn. Huh. 
Well, you know what? I'll come stop by later and check in on you. Maybe you have a, I'll bring some lunch. All right, all right. I appreciate well, the tour, uh, all right? Yeah. No problem. Have a good day. Also, if you care, there's a garden over here. Ooh, I'll check it out on the way out. All right. All have right. Good, good seeing you. That's that. That is so funny. We ran into that info about. Hello, this Los Santos, and welcome back. This is one hundred one point one Siren Radio. I am your host, Sophie Sanders. I hope you're having a great Monday, a great start to your week. I know we're kicking off this week of shows with one heck of a treat for you. Uh, we do have tonight an exclusive interview with Mayor Lang Buddha. He's the man, the myth, the legend. Uh, and he's been a great mayor for us. Uh, for some time now and you know we thought what better time than right now to bring him into the studio and have a chat with him ask him some questions i will say that tonight just to keep things on time and running uh smoothly we are not going to be opening the phone lines but don't worry i've got some good questions that we'll be asking the mayor uh you know the twitter is <laughs> you can get your twatter fingers ready uh tweet out as we're oh uh, i got a feeling this is going to be spicy we'll be asking questions to the mayor you know, we, we did do some research before the show, and uh, you I'm know, gonna heard what you guys wanted to hear about. Go so to the radio station because I got a feeling they're gonna try to do some shit but, to uh, them. Without further ado, it is uh, my pleasure to thank him for taking the time out of his very busy day to join us here, and also introduce Mayor Lang Buddha. Mayor, how are you doing this evening? How are you? How are you doing? I'm doing all right, Sophie. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Again, I appreciate you coming here. Uh, I know it's uh, you're a very busy man, but I think you know it's good to to ask some questions and uh, hear it straight from you about uh, your opinion on different things. Um, so I guess first off, to to start off this interview, we'll keep it uh, nice and light. You know, um, I, I was just curious. You know, it's been a while since your first mayoral run, but what originally inspired you to run for mayor? What really you know ignited that fire for you uh honestly it started off as a as a meme uh you know me and the boys uh we, we got together and we you know placed the bet on uh, how long i could be the mayor before uh you know going back to jail uh in reality we didn't even think we'd win uh but then after winning and uh, kind of spending a bit of time in the office speaking to the people from the pd the doj learning more about the city, uh, you know, I realized there was a lot of problems in this city that uh, need to be fixed and that uh, a lot of people overlook. And, uh, you know, before I before I knew it, uh, I found myself kind of uh, obsessed with uh, trying to solve these problems. All right. So, I mean, on that note, then, you know, what would you say your favorite part is about being mayor? Uh, the people I meet, the people I help. Uh, the genuine uh, reactions, uh, you know, to being helped and I guess uh, recognized. There's a lot of people in the city that go overlooked. A lot of uh, dreams and ideas that uh, have no support. And, uh, you know, those are my uh, target people that I try to uh, assist in any way I can. All right. Um, I'll probably swing back to that in a little bit with some other questions that we have. But, um, again, while we're starting to just to get to know you a little bit, um, well, uh, maybe give us like a fun fact maybe about you that, that many people in the city may not know. Uh, something that might surprise people. So the radio is right uh, here. Shit, I love pineapples. Whoa, okay. But now are you a pineapple on pizza kind of guy? I know this might be, that might be. Like, Hell yeah. I'll I'll might, pick pineapple oh. on pizza any day of the week. Okay, okay. You know, it's. I'm not gonna lie, there's something to be said about the the salty and sweet, you know, especially with some some pepperoni and some pineapple. I, I think it's I think it's a fine combo. Uh, all, right. all right. So okay. So then, then um, you know, if, if you're a pineapple on pizza kind of guy, what's your like go-to comfort on that meal roof. if you're you know you're having a bad day? I know mine for me is, is churros. That's my my go. Uh, good pussy and a glass of wine. Okay. All right. Hey, I, you know, I, you got to respect that. Uh, are you a red, a red wine or a white wine kind of guy? Definitely red. I, I don't drink white wine. That shit's garbage. Okay. All right. Okay. A man with with taste over here. Um. Okay. 
We'll uh, we'll stick. We'll keep on the, these light questions for a little bit longer here. Now this one though, this one can probably, you know, get some some people riled up. What is uh, what's your favorite car that you own? I have to imagine as mayor that you own a, a bunch of different cars. What is your favorite car, and why is that one your favorite? Uh, well, it used to be uh, my deity, and the reason why I love that car so much is because the manufacturers uh, told me it was bulletproof. But then when Nicholas Simone and his puppies uh, tried to assassinate oh. me, I learned very quickly that it wasn't as bulletproof as I thought. So my favorite car that I own would have to be my one-of-one -one custom-built DeLorean by uh, the legend himself, uh, Eddie. Oh, okay. A DeLorean. Okay, so... That's got to be pretty pretty special to roll around town in. Uh, does, if, have you had that car get stolen before when you were driving it around? Do people know that that's your car? I mean, everybody knows it's my car. It's uh, the only car of its kind in the city. Uh, it's been stolen a few times, but, uh, you know, what can you do? Okay. All right. Well, note, note to everybody listening out there. If you see a DeLorean on the streets, don't touch it, okay? I think that's a mistake that you wouldn't want to make twice. All right, then, uh, then, Mr. Mayor, I, I, I think we're, we're warmed up, but, you know, you had some practice shots here. Uh, are you ready to get into some tougher questions, maybe? Uh, yeah, I mean, no questions tough to, uh, for me, honestly. Okay, all right. Then, um, like I said, you've had a, a great run as mayor so far, and I think there's a lot of things that have been rolled out by your uh, office over the past, you know, couple months and weeks. Um, but uh, what what are some projects you completed in your first term, and maybe which one are you like the most proud I'm of? I'm waiting for uh, a fucking RPG to hit this building when he comes out. Uh, well, one of our big projects uh, were state grants, uh, providing a tool for small businesses to kind of have uh, you know a big advantage, uh, skip some of the uh, the hard steps uh, most people will have to go through uh, in helping their uh, business flourish. It has been one of my uh, personal favorite projects. Uh, like I said a little bit earlier, you know, the genuine reaction, uh, you know, acknowledging a small business, many people overlook, you know, a little storefront in the middle of nowhere, going inside, uh, being absolutely blown away from the design. Looks the like he's got his boys on the roof up there running, watching, but. Uh, and then providing them, uh, you know, funds. There's a lot of places to hide. Support. They can even come out of the subway real quick, entrance to Siren Radio is right here. Is, uh... <laughs> Shoot you know, some shit, go back down in the subway. Folks, very creative folks out there in the city that I think for a very long time, you know, didn't didn't know how to get off the ground. I, you know, I, personally, I can say that Siren Radio, you know, we we had a lot of help from, and support from the mayor's office, uh, both from Mickey and yourself. And uh, you know, it is it's very reassuring when when you know that the um, you know the people in charge are behind your little idea. Um. Okay, so then you, you got some stuff in the work, you know, already checked off, but there, is there anything that's in the works still right now that you'd want to continue, you know, if you were given a second term? Well, we have a big project uh, in the works that uh, me getting a second term will allow me to operate this project with more ease. And that is a project uh, we call uh, Project Sinatra. Uh, essentially, the, the embodiment of this project is... Uh, to reach the moon and uh, other Ooh. other planets uh, beyond the stars, uh, we are actually building a facility out in Sandy Shores, and uh, shortly here we'll be uh, developing some rocket ships and uh, doing some uh, te uh, tests to see if this mission is even possible. Wow. Okay. It's very. That's very exciting. I mean, I, I can't. I can't even imagine what it would be like to go to the moon. Uh... Is this, is this going to be open to the citizens of, of Los So Santos, nobody or? will be, uh, for lack of a better term, uh, cock-blocked from this uh, opportunity, but people will have to get certified. But more details on that is to come soon. But essentially, you would have to go through a course, you know, endurance training, strength training, uh, you know, like that. Uh, and then once you're certified, uh, you are perfectly capable of, uh, you know, going to space if and when we, uh, you know, decide to embark on that mission. All right. Well, hey, you heard it here first, guys. If you've got astronaut dreams, it sounds like they could be uh, coming true sooner rather than later. But uh, and it looks like there's a bunch of tweets going out on Twitter right now, uh, you know, talking about, you know, getting certified and things like that. So I'm sure that if anybody's interested, can they reach out to members of your team? Is there uh, somebody in particular that they need to get in touch with? 
Well, right now we're wait, uh, waiting on some back-end things, but I would say the next couple of days there will be plenty of, uh, you know, advertisements, brochures, flyers, things like that, uh, you know, regarding more info on how to get certified and who to contact. Okay, all right. And, well, that's a great segue. You know, Siren Radio does have to pay the bills here. <laughs> Everyone's so looking at Twitter right now. We're going to take a short little ad break, give the mayor uh, a second to catch his breath from all these questions. And we'll be right back after a word from our sponsors. On election day, there will be a lot on the line. There will be many names on the ballot, but at the end of the day, only one will matter. You need a judicial candidate you can trust, a candidate that has the experience, that has been there before, proven himself before, and that candidate is Norman Adams. Starting on election day, Norman Adams will get right to work. He'll issue licenses, but only if you know the stand your ground law or which animals you're not allowed to shoot. He'll update your license plate to that weird inside joke Damn. that you and your friends understand. He'll hear your bench trials, appeals, and docket cases. And most importantly, he'll be here. He'll be here for you to provide equal justice for all. So when you step in the voting booth, go with the candidate you can trust. Go with Norman Adams. This ad does not indicate endorsement by Siren Radio. Paid for by Norman Adams for Judge. All right, and we are back again. It is political ad season, and I do just want to reiterate that uh, any ads played here on Siren Radio do not necessarily indicate endorsement. Any views and opinions expressed on the radio do not necessarily reflect those of Siren Radio or our affiliates. All right, with that, we are back in action here with the mayor and i am going to turn it up uh i'm going to turn it up another notch here mr mayor uh one of these questions this, this is a question that you know I, I brought up uh as we were getting ready for this interview uh, and it's a thing uh something a lot of us business owners are concerned about and uh you know we've heard rumors maybe maybe some true some not but uh can you tell us what aegis is and mm. uh you know in your words, in your own words, what is it? What's its goal? And, uh, w you know, what should we be thinking about when it comes to this new entity? Sophie, I could tell you what Aegis is, but, you know, as the mayor, one of the most important things about being the mayor is your job, you can never clock off. So when something comes across your desk that you cannot ignore, you simply must acknowledge, and I don't know if you just saw on Twitter here, ladies and gentlemen, but what is this image that I'm looking at here? <laughs> it looks like a this is all planned. conversation. I'm not sure who. I think this number here might belong to Norman Adams, and the context of this conversation goes, what if I run? I'm not sure that's the right call. We'll have to see. I think it'll be a lot easier to convince a lot of people, cops and generic civilians maybe, to push me rather than Osvaldo. But we can strategize on that. Who is he talking to? Which puppet is he willing to be? And for who? I don't know. But this is, uh, this is kind of concerning. Well, you know, again, Mr. Mayor, like I said, uh, everyone's willing to spend their, or everybody has equal opportunity to spend their hard earned on ads here on Siren Radio. Uh, but uh, that that is interesting there that you know uh, those receipts out there on on the internet. I mean, do you, do you have a comment there other than you know the, what was shown on on water? Well, see, the thing about me, uh, Sophie, is uh, you might not agree with me. you might not like the man that I am, right? But uh, when I have a passion, ideas, and things I want to you know uh, adventure in or succeed in. Uh, it'll always be my personal ideas themselves. I am not a puppet for nobody in this city. I'm not going to run on behalf of somebody because they're too cowardly to put their name on the ballot themselves. I will put my heart where my hand is and do what I got to do to succeed. Now, back to this age's question. Uh, I, you know, I've heard whispers, rumors, everybody's freaking out. <laughs> I'm not running uh, from not there. I'm necessarily understanding. Dahlia Fay uh, backing up. Uh, the interesting. Basis of this. But, but the idea of age is, is to pretty much branch uh, <laughs> civilian oh, and shit. The police department uh, essentially creating a, a partnership where we will be creating new government jobs for civilians 
I'm fucking around. I'm not running. I'm not running for I know. I know. I know. Okay, I was just gonna ask. We, we can have that meeting today. Friday. I think you were sleeping. You work for shit. somebody. Yeah. Once this um, radio show's done, I'll call you. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Bye. 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 What we'll be doing is uh, creating departments that uh, you know, in partnership with the people, uh, the police, that will you know, pretty much ease the burden on them uh, because they're so overworked in this city, uh, and to help uh, you know provide a service that maybe the police can't do, but a civilian could assist in doing. For example, cleaning up graffiti, you know, non-gang affiliated ones, you know, we don't want to put people in harm's way. Uh, you know, regulating storefronts, making sure that everyone, you know, is up to code, up to standard, things like that. So, I guess on that note, you know, that as a business owner myself, that's one that I think, um, you know, raised some concern from from me not that we're necessarily doing anything out of line here at siren radio but will there be a, a you know uh written out set of guidelines that are very clear uh when it comes to uh you know the powers that aegis has with regards to storefronts and being able to take them away and what is considered in line and what is considered out of line uh there will be as a matter of fact there's been legislation uh for that for a while now uh, regarding Aegis, Aegis will not be capable of actually taking somebody's storefront away. Um, that is on behalf of the senators and the police department. Aegis will simply be there to help regulate and make sure everyone understands and is, it is aware of the guidelines they should follow. They're just there to assist. They're not there to knock down any doors and take anything down. Okay. Okay. I think, you know, that that's helpful to know. Obviously, if you see the, the legislation and it's it's uh, the way it is currently written. It, it, it can be a little bit scary or intimidating that it seems like there's a lot of power, but as long as I think as there's transparency and open communication, uh, you know, that can go a long way. Uh, even in, in just, you know, like, like we're doing right now, you coming on here and, and talking with me, talking with the people of the city, I think that, that goes a long way. Um, so go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, I was going to say, you know, most, uh, mostly everything that what we do, uh, you know, regarding the mayor's office, uh, we're very transparent about. I mean, legislations, uh, if we wanted to keep secrets, they wouldn't be public. Very, very fair. Very fair. Now, I, I, this is probably a tough question. I apologize in advance, but since we're on the topic of legislation, I know this is something that was a part of your, your core campaign when you ran before. Um, obviously, receipts are a huge part of the city and it's what keeps a lot of us uh, above water. It's what pays a lot of the, the, the folks out here in the city. Um, you know, there was that legislation that was passed to get those those bumped up so that, you know, we don't maybe have to live paycheck to paycheck at quite as much. Is there any insight there, or any updates on that shift from 200 to $300 in value? Is that something that Maybe we could see in in a term two. Uh, well, uh, funny enough, you say that it is a battle I have with the senators almost every other day. It is a request that people ask of me a lot, and uh, you know, to keep my job, all I can say is uh, you know it's above my pay grade, but I do push and pester the senators to finally push this through. Whenever they do it, it's up to them. Okay. All right. Yeah. You know. Just uh, got to speak on, you know, behalf of us uh, hourly workers out there that, you know, you, you work uh, and, and, you know, it takes, what is it, two or three receipts to buy a, a combo meal at most Damn. of the restaurants the city. So, uh, it, it's, you know, hardworking people out there. They just want to make sure that their money is valued, right, and their time is valued. Of course, and that's why it goes back to what I said earlier. Uh, you know, for all business owners out there, small or big, uh, you want ways to you know, maybe give bonuses to your employees, pay them what you feel they're worth, but you're struggling. Don't don't be afraid to uh, you know apply for a state grant. Uh, you know the budget uh, there. Uh, we have a lot of budget committed to that project, and uh, if you feel you really need it, you know don't be shy. Uh, we're very open to you know listening or hearing anybody out there, whatever business they need. Uh, and with this grant, it could alleviate some of your problems. All right, and is this something? Is the business grant program something you can? you plan to continue into your second term? Uh, yeah, the business grant, uh, we plan on continuing, uh, you know, my second term and, uh, you know, beyond that, uh, you know, with my company, Cerberus, we've been doing this long before I was a mayor. 
uh, being a mayor now just kind of opens uh, more access to more people to uh, get involved in that. All right. Well, uh, I think it's time for another break. We're going to take a little pause here and get a word from our sponsors, and we'll, we will be right back. I got voters in the running up the polls, please. You gotta throw them off a little bit, right? Is the other person All running right. Norman Adams? And again, Siren Radio is, uh, you know, we are happy to provide ad space on, on the radio here for you guys. If you'd like an ad on Siren Radio, reach out to any one of our employees and we can give you more information there. Uh, the ad schedule in the next coming month is opening up, so we are looking for advertisers. If you'd like a spot here, uh, we, can, we can make anything work for just about any budget. <laughs> All right, and with that, we're going to head back into the questions with the mayor here. We got a few more, I, and then before we wrap up, I, again, we don't want to take too much of his uh, time. Uh, Mr. Mayor, you know, I think one of the big questions, and I saw it out there on Twitter, I think, because they were flying by. Twitter is on fire tonight during during this show. Um, you know. The, the government side of our society is, is a huge part of, of things. Uh, so what are your, do you have any plans or goals for the for the police department given a second term? Oh, we have a lot of plans. Uh, things I probably shouldn't discuss as they asked, uh, you know, to keep it private. Uh, you know how it goes. You discuss one thing, uh, people twist it to a, their own narrative, run with it and make it crazier than it probably seems. But I have a really good standing uh, and working relationship with the PD, and I keep that going. I mean, they're, they're one of the core functions of this city, and without them, uh, the city simply can't uh, survive. Very true. They are a, a critical part of, of, our, um, of our city and, you know, crucial to keep things uh, operating smoothly. Uh, with that, you know, on the same note, is, is there any plans for any other government entities, such as, um, you know, uh, the, the medical staff, EMS, things like that. Uh, any any other goals you'd like to see accomplished on the on the government employee side of things? I got I got lost in water. Can you repeat that question? <laughs> Do you have? Uh, it, it is spicy out there. I'm sure you're gonna have a field day scrolling back through here. But um, you know, water fingers they are uh, on fire tonight. But um. The government side of things with like EMS, government medical, is there anything you have planned there? Uh, not just, you know, with the PD? Uh, of course, we, uh, we continue, uh, we're going to continue to work with EMS, with the hospitals, uh, you know, Parsons, uh, any organization and service that is required of the city to always help uh, better and improve, uh, you know, the services for society. All right. And, you know, Again, we thank you for coming on on Siren Radio to to do this interview. But I think a keystone of a previous mayoral um, tenures was the town hall meeting. Uh, unfortunately, I know there was there wasn't really time to have one, uh, you know, during your first term here. But would there be any plans for uh, a, a town hall meeting given a second term? Is there any reason, you know, uh, why there hasn't been a town hall meeting? Uh, I was told uh, from higher ups, uh, no more town hall meetings. Uh, if that's something the city wishes uh, to bring back, I can work and do my very best to make sure they do come back. All right. 
right. Well, uh, I think it was talked about a little bit when at the beginning, <laughs> but obviously Siren Radio would be down to help with any kind of town hall meeting in the future. I know that there's a lot of listeners out there. You know, we reach from coast to coast, north to south, east to west out there in the city. They could be listening all the way up in Polito. Uh, so, you know, we are glad to help any way we can. All right. Well, I think, you know, I, I've had you here a while. And I'm, you know, we did ask the citizens for some of these questions. So I, I've got, this one might be the spiciest one yet. Mr. Mayor, are you ready? Hey, what else we got left? Come on, throw it at me. All right, well, what are your thoughts on the Lakers' playoff chances this year mm -hmm. with them mm -hmm. currently being ranked eighth in the West? Mm -hmm. Well, as of last night, they've officially uh, taken the seventh seed. So oh, uh, the okay. Lakers are coming. LeBron's going to win his fifth championship. And Michael Jordan and his legacy uh playing against plumbers and part-time construction workers would fade into darkness. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. So confident. I, I like it. You know, uh, I guess I d didn't update my, my question as of uh, this morning. So good to hear for them. But uh, all right, Mr. Mayor, with that, is there anything, any, like, this is your chance. Uh, speak to the people of the city. Is there anything you want to say? Uh, what's your, your final closing thoughts and message here? Uh, I mean, Hey, anybody who supports me, you know, thank you. I greatly appreciate it. I'm not a man who's going to stand here and make my campaign all about, uh, you know, tarnishing uh, my fellow competitors. So, you know, good luck to them. May it be a good campaign. And whoever wins, uh, you know, congratulations. All right. Also, well, Fox we... Cerberus. Oh, well, there you go. Uh, you saw those ads going out on Twitter earlier today. I think it was Fox Cerberus all the way to the moon. Uh, again, I appreciate you coming out here, Mr. Mayor. I, I really do. I hope you had a great time here on Siren Radio. To the listeners out there, mm. I hope that you have had uh, a good time listening to the mayor. I'm sure that there's a bunch of questions that are out there on Twitter, but, uh, you know. I that's, just also that's... have one more comment. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, to Nicholas Simone, I know the first twat mm. I sent out uh, caused you to go on a downward spiral and attempt at my life. You know, just let this one go, buddy. You're not going to win every single one of them, all right? And uh, tell your corrupt officers, you know, Winston Walker being one of them, that we're aware of what he's doing. Thank you. Mm. Okay. Well, that uh, was was not expecting that spice there at the end, but okay. All right. Oop. As they say. Oop. All right. Well, we thank you guys for listening. We thank all of our all of our twatters. We didn't have any callers today. We thank the mayor and our sponsors, and we hope to see you again here on Siren Radio. Uh, <laughs> we have shows tomorrow and Wednesday, and uh, so we'll be back on the air in just about 24 hours. We will see you then. Thank you, guys. Have a great Monday night. <laughs> have a great start to your week. Stay safe out there, and we will see you tomorrow. Okay, bye. This has been a Siren Radio production broadcast <laughs> live from Los Santos. They are going to throw some dumbass tweets out there. not necessarily reflect those of Siren Radio or our broadcast partners. We'd like to thank our sponsors, guest callers, and of course, our listeners. Continue to follow us on Twitter to know when we'll be live next. Stay safe and let Siren Radio be your guide to news, music, and entertainment. 101.1 Siren Radio.
Oh, I gotta look up that reverend. Reverend. What would it be? Oh shit, let's go back to our radio. Oh yeah. Hey, oi, 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 you ready to talk? Yeah, come to uh, where you want to meet. Actually, uh, we could go to the cubby if you want, I don't care. Whatever, whatever you're more comfortable. I, my, my man Cuban embassy got exploded, so I don't really have a base. The fuck? What happened to uh, I fucked around with the wrong people and they blew that shit up with C4. With? Uh, it's fine, it's, I already dealt with it. Who'd you just, fuck with? Uh, Freddy Fastfingers. H.O.A.? Hey, yeah, but HOA is all cool with me now, and Freddy's cool with me now, it's just, uh... I was trying to fuck his girlfriend. Excuse me? <laughs> I was trying to fuck his girlfriend, and he got really mad. You were trying to fuck... Who's, who's Freddy's girlfriend? Charlotte Fairfield. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, it was mostly to fuck with him, but, uh, yeah, yeah, I learned, I learned the hard way, don't fuck with him. So. Alright, meet me down at, uh, Dodo, Dodo Prime. Uh, yeah, can you ping a 328? I, I kind of forgot what that is. It's down in the docks, uh, but yeah. Oh, on. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, I remember. Okay, right. I'll be there. Right. Bye, 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 bye. Hang on. What's the name of that fucking reverend? Uh... Volin or some shit or no, it's Volin. Hello, I speak to a lawyer. I need to penny, speak to somebody penny, penny. right now. What? What? Hey, what oh guy? Oh <laughs> no, Brittany, you don't say anything, honey. You don't say anything, honey. I have to go. We're gonna have to go up there and look at look at the sign again. Let's see what's up with Oswald first, though. Uh, I don't really trust him right now, to be honest. Yo, you on the radio?
Hey, what's up, Kate? Uh, are you back on the radio? 454.3? No, no, I'm gonna jump on the line. Uh, this dude Oswald called me up for a meeting, so I'm, I'm gonna go meet him down at Dodo right now. In case anything happens. Okay, I'll be on radio. Alright. Alright, sounds good. Am I fucking your shit up? I've been there. What the fuck? I stay kind of hidden just in case. You know what I mean? Just hear someone just get kicked. Come on in, come on in. Oh shit. I scared the shit out of you, Mr. K. Mm -hmm. Hey, let's give us some privacy. All right. Wow. You own this? No, this is just a little shipping facility down here. So well, what's going on? What do you want to chat about? Well, uh, you, as you can see, the things are heating up in the election. Oh, yeah, that's what it seems like. Mm -hmm. And I was wondering what what it would take to have like a like CG's you know like pure backing you know focused on the campaign and the uh, you know like helping out on all fronts you know pure backing hmm. right now who's backing it because it looked like I saw some picture you're against Norman Adams Enlang no no Norman Adams is on my side um he's running for judge so I have no idea what the fuck that that picture is. I mean, I barely even me like Norman Adams and me barely like we talk a bit, but it's not like that. Like I don't know what the fuck Who is that shit is. I don't know. I've never even seen that before. Oh yeah, I was confused. I was like, wait, are you not running anymore? Yeah, no, no. I have zero idea what the fuck that is. I don't. I don't know. That's that's a Norman Adams problem, not a Osvaldo problem. You know. Huh. Yeah. That, that shit was weird, and uh, it, it made zero sense. Like, I don't know how that was, like, a dish to Norman. Uh, it, it didn't make any sense. Uh, but my backings, I have GSF. I have um, all of Burger Shot. I have... Um, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm speaking with Simone, Nick Simone. He's going to try to... He, he, me and him have a meeting, hopefully, today. Uh, he, he's going to end up backing me, hopefully. Uh, all of the HOA has my backing. Or they're backing me. Um, I got uh, the lifers as well. Uh, I'm trying to think off the top of my head who else I've talked to. Mm -hmm. uh, the mandom are, are, are on my side as well. Hey, I, 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 have we, a, I think we can get the clowns on our sides. The clown, the clowns are also in the hidden as well. They're gonna be campaigning for me as well. Um, 
but yeah, it's just the uh, you know the stragglers is what I'm I'm struggling with, and the people that uh, they, you know they're a little hard headed to want to vote for me. Okay, well, I mean, what could you bring to the table for me and my crew here? Well, I mean, I, I've always had massive respect for you guys. You know that, like, uh, you guys, uh, you you guys, you know, we did everything for me and Leo, and we had nothing. So, I mean, I, I hope you know, you call and I say, yes, sir. What do you need, my friend? So you you have an open line direction to the to the mayor's office, you know. Okay, I could I could circle back with my crew and let him know and. Uh... You know, we're not in the best standing with Cerberus and all them, so I don't know if it would be uh, beneficial to us if they're mayor. So, yeah, I could be open to this. Yeah, of course. We're, my, my main focus is helping out the little guys, you know. I I, I feel like people like me that, that didn't have a Mr. K or a CG to help, I think I want to I wanna help them. I want to I wanna help those people. And uh, I think uh, I think me and you teaming up would be really good, you know. Oh you want to be a father? Well... Well, I am a father. Five of my kids are dead. Uh, so I you're not a 15. father. They're all dead. Well, no, I had. I know I had fifteen. Five are dead, so I have ten left. The fuck happened to the five? James Randall. Oh my god. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But uh, do you guys have anything else to add to, to Mr. K to kind of uh, you know maybe convince him a little better? Yeah, well, what, you, what you got from me? I don't really know what exactly we, what what your plan was with the meeting, so I just the, you know, the I thing is, is that I just wanted to make sure, like, is it cool if we put a vote for Osvaldo posters in Little Soul? Posters in Little Soul? You asking if it's okay? Yeah, yeah, like vote for Osvaldo, like little, like you know, like if I put you know one of those here. Let me let me pull one up here. It is Shelly? Yeah, yeah Shelly. Yeah. What the fuck? How'd you get out of prison? I, I did 14 years. Oh my god. It was terrible. Yeah, so if I did something like that, is that, is that cool? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, you could do that. That's fine with me. Very cool. Okay, perfect, perfect. Uh, Mila, you have anything you wanted to say? Uh, the, well, the biggest thing is, what do you want out of it, Mr. K? Opportunity. I want opportunity. If I come knocking and I got something I think will be great for the city, I want opportunity. Well, I mean, like I said, you you know, I I, I would one hundred percent figure out any way to help you. you no, know? like I I want to give back to you for how much you've helped me and Leo. Okay. Well, you know, that, you guys got my 100%. support, so let me circle back with the crew and I'll uh, see if we can do a, you know, a full-on support. Perfect. But I, I would really appreciate that, Mr. K. No problem, okay. man. I think... Right. Yeah, I'm good. The... I'm just chatting with, uh, with Oswald. Okay, I'm gonna, One of the I'm things is, is um, you know, uh, I'll be back on tomorrow, I'll Mr. Be Lang right. is, is genius, right. but he's... um. Obviously, a lot of things that he's been doing is to um, promote and benefit Cerberus. Yeah, what's up with this Aegis thing everyone's talking about? Um, it's pretty much making it so that um, instead of it being government owned, it's going to be Cerberus owned business that is going to pretty much uh, say which businesses storefronts live and which don't, which is very scary. Jesus. Um, yeah. Now, my idea to combat that power. is once I once I become mayor, because there's no legislation or anything saying that I can't mess with Aegis. I was thinking of putting it into the city's hands, uh, taking it away from him and well, his his people, yeah, and then make putting it. Aegis task force that that oversees, you know, just make more. That, I mean, why not? I feel like that'd be a. I mean, we could, but then yeah. it's just. Someone looking at someone looking well, at someone yeah, looking yeah, at you someone. Just add more layers. That's the answer. But I feel I feel like if I feel like if we have it where the city controls it and runs it, that'll be better because um, you know the, the every every time a new mayor you comes trust in, them they judges put the judges too. Yeah, who oversees? No, the no it would be like it would be like the mayor would be running it, and every time there's a new mayor, a new a new uh, board mem like new board members have to go, and the old like the board members would have like term limits mm. as well. 
that like way, a council. Yes, like a council. From different different areas in the city that go from business owners to maybe um, CRIM, CIVS, maybe AMS, PD, and so that it makes up people with different opinions rather than everybody who only is backing one company and agrees with one person. Yeah, it should be neutral, you know. Or, you know, whatever the fuck the current mayor would want to do or, or new mayor would want to do. But it should still be ran by the mayor's office, not not a fucking private organization. Okay. Yeah, I agree. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, so, yeah. it seems like you guys got a good uh, start here. Who else is on your team? Uh, right now, it's them two. We have attendant. Um, he's he's uh he was running last mayor election and he's gonna be running he's gonna he joined my team, and we have I'm, I'm, I'm fucking I had more people I had like seven eight nine people and uh, I'm I'm not gonna lie Mr K you kind of you kind of scared me sometimes so so I, I, I uh, yeah yeah we you you like I said bro you're like my hero bro you don't want to scare nobody see see see, see. It's, a, it's like intimidating sometimes. Um, trying to think. It was them two. We have... Uh, I think Norman Adams wanted to be in it. But I don't know. Now with everything that's going on, I don't know if he I want to... can't be uh, if he's a... Yeah, yeah. Judge. Also that. If he's a judge, he can't be. Mm. I'm also directly helping if I if we win. Um, I'm directly helping with like the budget stuff. Um, mm -hmm. as, and business proposals. Um, we also have a Sloan Kelly... He's uh, he's in it as well. He's my main legislator. He he he's really good at writing. Any ideas I have, he's very good at writing it for me. So he he's been he's been doing on that front. And uh, yeah, I can't I can't think of. Oh, and Ricardo. Sorry. No, who I think oh, would be good. Ricardo's, yeah, Ricardo's great. Yeah, Ricardo. No, I think too? also would be great. Ursula. Yeah, I asked Ursula and she oh said she doesn't God, know if she wants to do it. Oh my fucking people! But I, I left the the offers there for her. You mm -hmm. know. Yeah. So any time that she actually wants to do it, I'll, I'll, you know, she's always more than welcome. But yeah, those are those are my crew. Uh, apparently, it's only like five deputy mayors, right? Yeah, I, mean, I, I'm pretty sure I can't be a deputy mayor, sadly, because of my, okay, you know, well, my, mm -hmm. my, my, my terrorism. You goddamn <laughs> felon. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll figure that part out. But uh, yeah, for the most just... part, that's the team. No. Yeah. Right. Just everybody helping out on their in their own way, you know. Okay, we'll be in touch then. I'll talk with the crew, let you know, and I think we can do some big things. Okay, perfect. Just remember, it starts tomorrow. I think uh, two Eastern. I think is when it starts. So it's All gonna right. it's gonna be crazy. Tomorrow too. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. I'll be around. All right. Thank you, Mr. K. You have a great day. You too. Oh my lord. We can't blow our cover, you know, chat? No, no, I, I don't trust them. I don't think Oswald. I think Oswald's just. Not necessarily a puppet, but a puppet. You know what I mean? Not a puppet, but like. He doesn't know. I don't think he knows what the fuck he's in, in with. Yeah, I should have snuck a tracker in their car.
Yuck bag. Oh, did I ever go to that pillbot house? Oh, I did. I never sent it to Brian yet. Oh my lord. Oh shit! What is going on over there? Hello? Yo, Mr. K, how's it going, man? What's up, man? Uh, do you do anything with Wu Chang by chance anymore? Yeah, I'm the owner. All right, so basically, uh, I'm still owed like 200 and something thousand for the music I produced. And uh, for some reason, uh, after leaving BSK, I got fired and kicked out the email chain. Huh. And uh, unfortunately, I haven't been paid that money, nor am I... Well, I've been chasing for a while now, but uh, is there anything you can do? Send me a text with your name, uh, how much you're owed, and I'll forward it on to uh, the CEO, and I'll have him take care of it. All right, perfect. Appreciate it. All right, no Because uh, I've reached out to him from the Mandem Records, like, uh, CFOs and stuff, but nothing's come back, and uh, now the next Yeah, I'm guessing it was you. OTT, probably. I, I'd expect so, but uh, it just saves me a lot of time and trouble if I just speak to you because yeah, just it's only, uh, it's only a little amount of money compared to what you guys make and shit from the records. Yeah, just text me your info and I'll get it sorted. All right, appreciate you, my man. All right, take care. All right, peace. Who the fuck is that? 
No. I like yeah. it. Yeah, yeah why not? So Good on, yuckbags! Oh, oh, hey, Chatty. <laughs> hey, yuckbags! It's Chatty. Chatty. No, no, I don't know. I think that's Bubbles. Oh. I'm like, that's Bubbles, exactly is that how Chatty you, you little son of a bitch? Yuck off! Oh, oh. Bubbles, I ben swear to God. I'm, I'm, I'm going to make one phone call, Bubbles, and if you, if I hear... No! Something, no! Oh, no! Ring. See? Oh, what the fuck? Get off! My fault. What's now, your name? Daddy, what's your name what's about? Up? Mark, where are you going? Don't be a dick. Just where are you going? You can't get What the oh. fuck? No, you <laughs> I love the clowns, dude. That's that picture. Should be interesting to talk with Lang. I gotta fill him in on the Winston Walker shit. I gotta also fill him in on the graveyard shit. Ah, oh, fuck. I should've got that graveyard guy's info. Yeah, it's not like he knew about Winston, which was interesting. I don't know, I expected him to say Jenny Hall or some shit. Voland.
I swear, if this guy's down here... There's no Volan, it's not a real person. GSF. Oh, this girl lives everywhere, what the fuck? Hey, where did I park? Check a few of these out. What BBMC was doing yesterday? They had this whole thing blocked off. It was pretty sick. They had all the trucks and shit.
Oh, fuck it. Fuck it. She's in her head. I didn't see any weird shit in there either, so... Yeah, it's her, but I don't have any, uh... Fallen suspicions about her yet. This lady was just hired to, um... What was it? I don't remember. I think some shit with Dahlia. Come back to that one. This one up here seems like it's gonna have some creepy shit. I can't believe she was the first one to be in the place we checked. She didn't even own that one. She just had keys there.
Oh, smoke in the water. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if she's of question chat. Nothing too crazy about her. I do want to check out the one she owns, though. She doesn't own either of the two we checked. She owns the one on form. I swear, if she has an upside down cross in there, I'm going back for her. But that GSF was lurking, bro. I gotta sneak my way in there. This thing kind of fucking fast, dude. <laughs> Yo. Shit. Oh, I thought that was a cop. GSF's checking my car out. Very unique. No cross, though. Play low for a second. I think GSI, GSF's at my fucking car. I don't think this, uh, I don't know if this girl's related. Maybe she was in the past. Because even her MDW, she seems like she may be a Satan worshiper with uh, Simone's. I don't see no signs in here. Yo, y'all no. good now? Oh, what are you? What's good? I was checking this? some shit out, bro. Fucking scared the shit out of us. I got him here by uh, pickies. Bro, y'all some crackheads, man. Well, who is this? We see a motherfucker it's go me, through our bro. houses. You robbing houses or? No, I'm not robbing houses. I'm just checking some shit out. Oh, okay. Some properties. What do you mean, shit? me? Who's me? What? You said it's me. Who the fuck is me? Me, Mr. K, man. You know who the fuck I am. Oh, we wiped your whole gang to the floor. Okay, K, okay, calm down a Let's little bit. I see you and act like you don't sake. know who I am, man. Come on. Calm down. 
Hey, does uh does Dex have to be awake to get that spray back, or are you able to yeah? Just to shoot uh, when he's awake, like... I just have to be awake, and he just fucking uh, I can test it, and I'll just hand it over. I if he if he wakes up today, let him uh, let me know. I'll be around for a few more hours. All right, sounds good. All right, boys. Thank you. I appreciate it. See, I tell you, these motherfuckers, they so paranoid, bro. They saw me drive by that house and came all the way down here to see what the fuck was up. Because I drove down their block. They don't play with their block, bro. <laughs> I juked that dude out. He didn't even see me. I could have stayed in there. Dundee. I gotta drop this next package to uh, Brian soon too. This him right here? Four nine five. Hey, that's his number. The hell is he in Jewel Dragon? Check the stores. Still going this one? in here now I can go in here because I actually own this I'm the landlord The other thing is, is I am going to, with this case now being sealed, I have options for a secured courtroom so that it won't be at the normal place. So I'm going to look into those options as well. And if I can hold it at the alternate courtroom as opposed to the public courtroom that alleviates Gil's fears for his witness. Plus, it also uh, meets the PD's need to hear that testimony, as well as uh, the clients hear that testimony. So... Alternate courtroom? Yes. Like in a different county, or...? No, there there's secured courtrooms in the city that you don't know oh. about. Oh, what? All right, okay. I know of three courtrooms. I, I hope this doesn't turn into like the HOA dam one because I think that would be. No, no, no. God, no. God, no. No, no, okay. no. Okay. These, these right. are not SPS courtrooms. Okay. Thank you. These are you. actual physical secured courtrooms. Or put it this way they are actual physical courtrooms. Um, they are typically used for training. But because of how little is known about them, 
they can be used in a situation like this. But again, I have to get clearance before I sit there and say where it is. Does that make sense? Absolutely. Gil? As a part of this, uh, can you clarify on the docket due to, let's just say, incompetence for everyone involved, what it means for a court case to be sealed in a manner which individuals will understand so things don't unseal magically? Well, a lot of oh, it has already been, uh, been read by a lot of people, as far as I know. Things have been sealed as well that aren't yet available. Do you, 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 you got, are you picking up yeah, what I'm, what I'm I, putting I, I down? Get, I, I get what you mean, but I, 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 I think... Sometimes documents uh, get through the lock. I've, I've, I've heard of people reading a sealed docket anyway. <laughs> so it's just power of restraint, I guess. Well, that's and that's why I'm asking for the clarity, right? Like, yeah. while we us four look, I'm not concerned about us four. I am just, you know, yeah. I, I think you understand. Uh, I, I, I'm no, looking I, I for the well, the welfare of all the parties involved. Yeah. Brian, how late are you around tonight? I can be around for a bit. I got uh, I got to look into this hut situation. I've been, I've, I'm uh, running on six hours there, Bill. Gil, more difficult to how about you? Nowadays than, uh... Uh, probably not as long as uh, Brian, that's for sure. Uh, we also need to be considerate that uh, individuals do need to be... We have to see if they are, what their availability is, especially key witnesses uh, for Tuesday's case. Cool. While we might be... You know, good. Uh, you know, I, I hope everyone else is as well. I presume that would be the case, given the same day, same time, but I don't want to, you know, speak for all parties. On Monday this time, not a Tuesday, right? Well, yeah, I just realized there's one person who wouldn't be able to be Monday, so. So here can't be Monday? I also know that uh, I, I, I'm pretty sure my client is already upset at the idea of the court case being moved back because a lot of stuff. Uh, well, maybe they shouldn't be doing dumb shit. I'd like to formally um, say that, look, if your client, uh, and, and, you know, I think it is your duty to let him know that we are offering a plea. I understand he's told you one thing. Recipe has changed. Um, we are offering... Um, if he's willing to accept terrorism and uh, oh, Michael. tampering with a witness, we can entertain a time and a fine. Okay, well, just give that to me now. What what, what number are you thinking? Well, you, you you tell me. What do you what, what do you think would work for you? I I I the one that takes it to them. Uh, I don't know their monetary situation whatsoever. So you give me a number, I'll get back they, to you. They've been in there for what? Fourteen years. Fifteen years. They've been in there for 15. Um, I would entertain, um, given, so I, I'm going to, I'm going to make sure I give you the full, full wrap here. Okay. Uh, you guys most, discuss that while I walk over here. Yep. Given the most recent guidance where I think the, uh, the city Senate, uh, wants to be aiming for 14 years. Uh, as like sort of a ceiling uh, given in addition the hut that is now on the table um, I would say an additional three years for Lizzie Byrne with seven years parole uh, the parole conditions would not be whatever this dumb shit is that y'all have dealt with in the past Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't know what that's all. Sounds about. like they're already locked up, though. It, just, uh, I, it, case, it doesn't yeah. matter. I don't. I don't. I'm not them. Um. However, for Cy Carter, it would be a additional. Um. Let Let me talk to Maya real quick. Okay. 
I think this is the diamond dogs. It was Cy Carter and someone named Lizzie. I hope they bring up the Simones. Got real quiet up there. Right now the people talking are Brian Knight. Yes, Bill Mays. I think Brian's meeting with whoever he's with right now, so I think they paused their combo and they're going to get back together and talk some more, I think. Either way, I want to see them all walk out and we can see their faces. It's not like it's going to be a secret court case. If we can fucking find the location and somehow grab Psy Carter. Yildo. Here we go. 
Look back here. He said, he said, where did Gil go? Alright, well, here's what's gonna happen, okay? Oh, I'll wait till Brian's off the phone, sorry. I didn't realize. Yeah, I think they broke off and had separate little meetings, and they're going to come back together and keep chatting now. Maya, I am going to fucking flip my shit. What have you done now? Well, if it's about too many posts, the dodge it fucking no. up. No. What? I, oh, my fucking God. What did I do? Oh, I hope... My, uh, let, let me read this to you. I'm not sure if Maya is conveying this to you for fear of my life as established by twats that went out today and through what I've personally told you, even if the case is sealed, I do not want to be alongside any of the witnesses. So now, and now we, I got, now I got someone talking to you, fucking texting me about the fucking court case. How am I not conflicted now? Because of Norman being an Norman being an idiot. Norman sent Norman you know, is text texting me like on behalf of Maya and making sure well, Maya is conveying shit to me. Norman. That's not on me, that's on Norman for me uh... for telling me stuff. I don't understand how I'm being yelled at here, with respect. Gil? Uh probably should have just said it, you know. Better than I mean, a lot. Yeah, I don't know. You, sometimes you just force it. Is there no, anything you want to motion uh, for, Gil, or what? What's going on? Like, oh, like regarding Norman, me. Oh, I, I, I don't give a fuck. You, okay. As long as every think, party knows. If 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 if, 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 if Dahlia is if Dahlia has already said that he, she's worried about being alongside people, and and Norman is oh, saying yeah. the same shit for for probably the same purpose. It, it doesn't really fucking come So none of much. the witnesses will even show up tomorrow now. So how the fuck is this going to even go ahead? Tomorrow. Well, Norman Norman's want, refusing if, if to go. If it did go tomorrow, Norman doesn't want to show up. Dahlia wasn't, doesn't want to show up. It's it, like it sounds like a lot of deposition you is going to have right, to happen. Well, the cat's out of the bag now. I may as well talk about it. We Wait, had a deal. No, well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold yeah, on. You no, might, relax, you relax, might, relax, you might relax. actually conflict him with that shit. Oh, okay. okay. So, so let me. Wait, what the fuck are these? Kissing oh Adams. Both connected. Uh, of course, okay, they don't want to show up. So I'm now. I'm confused. What's happening? Nick tomorrow? Simone's people. Nothing. He's, he's saying on the if, if per se we did happen to go through with the case tomorrow. Now neither of the neither like one of your witnesses or one of my witnesses wants to turn up. For I, I agree. And under, I would just like to repoint my original position, which is. In other cities, that sounds like fantastic, but in this city, I think it is the dumbest precedence to be setting. Um, yeah. It, it, because the moment we start saying, oh my God, I'm fearing for my life, I'm not going to show up. We have now provided the city an out, which is not reasonable in Los Santos. Yeah, uh, I, I, I think okay. that... So, like, literally I, I'm just going to I'm gonna make this scared. straight to both of you guys, and you can convey this to your witnesses, okay? If they don't show, I'm issuing years for yes, failure to appear. Yes, thank you, Bill. Okay. This was my original Gil, position. understood? Yep, understood. Convey that to your witnesses. Knight and Maya, understood? Absolutely. Convey yep. that to your witnesses. Now, as for one of the witnesses texting me directly, is anyone going to motion to have me recused because of a perception of confliction before no, we move on? Bill, if I wanted to conflict you, okay. um, and you went on the mini rant about the PD, it would have happened then. Well, no, that was that was that was just, just I, I, no, I but play petty yeah. Games, but He's just I, saying I, if if he already had an out, it's not going to happen. Okay, I just need to convey this to both of you that that happened. I'm not hiding anything. So, could you say as it, it stands, what is it that he said to you exactly? Oh, that he's going to refuse to show up and blah blah blah. And that Maya is supposed to be arguing for him not to show up tomorrow. Okay. 
no, it's fine. It's there yeah. was it you, you you weren't gonna step out of line in the middle of a conversation to bring up yet another person who's crying about the dangers of Los Santos. Yeah. So here's what's gonna happen. Tomorrow at the scheduled time, we are doing a Oh, cool. Tomorrow at the scheduled time, we are going to have the pre-trial. We are going to finish with all the motions, the arguments, everything else. Court case is going to be scheduled for eight days from now, so Tuesday. Just so that, like Brian was saying earlier, it's the same time, same day of the week. And it should work for everyone. Just double check, Brian, that you're good. I Yeah, let's do it. I mean, um, it was the same time Monday, the tenth or whatever it is. No, we'll we'll do it on Tuesday, so it's the exact same day, same time next week. So that, yeah, that's going to be the eleventh. Yeah, and now I want this very clear: if you guys don't reach a plea deal, and I do find these people guilty, not that I think they are or think they are not. But they will be getting time served if the sentence dictates it, okay? For the oh, you, simple you fact... Broke up there. Uh, so, for, for, for the people who... If they are found guilty, and I'm not saying that they are or are not guilty, but if they are found guilty, I will be applying time served just because of the length of time they've been in there, okay? They'll still be serving time, but even at tomorrow or on the 11th so that would be 23 days out of the sentence you're seeking mm -hmm. sorry 23 years of the sentence you're seeking i will be if if they're found guilty i will be applying credit for time sir just because i don't think it's fair for them to sit there but at the same time they should apply for fucking bail if they want a bail hearing right this second i'll give it to them uh, don't I, can I know. Them, I get it. I don't think they will. I, I, I'm just. I, I, I would like to touch on that. Is that I hope we're not setting that precedent for future cases in the future. Like I, I think there's a couple. The of case has already been are, set. Yeah. No, I'm with you. And um, what I'm saying here is, that I think there's a lot of interesting things that came out uh, in mm -hmm. this pretrial. Number one, uh, the claim that you're fearing at that level in Los Santos is ridiculous but number two i hope also think uh there should be a reconsideration that Sorry, claiming that you don't want bail because of these sort of reasons as a means to just avoid it i hope you understand what i'm saying i think these things are important to, to consider what would be the bail uh, conditions if they were to go on bail right now uh, Top of the list, do not witness tamper. Do not contact the witness. Yeah, no contact with anyone from the court case. No discussing the court case with anyone other than Gil. Or if police ask them to come in for an interview and uh, they wish to be there. Uh, I don't know. I would need consent from Sai to check his bank account. I don't know how much money he has. But the the standard, no, mis no felonies, you know. I don't give a fuck if he's negligent driving, just no like actual robbing banks and shit. Look what time it is. Huh? What? Seven PM. It's eight PM. No, it's eight thirteen. What? It's six thirteen. Yeah. What? What? Daylight savings deal. I know number. Night. Okay. Yeah, I Hello? mean, we, we won't have. I oh, mean, that's uh, central is seven. Yeah. Wait for us. Right, they're coming out. Um, yeah, I'll speak in the half there. Um, yeah, we don't have any opposition for that. We'll, we'll obviously set like strict bail conditions if they were to ask for bail. We're not going to do any of the dumb shit like, oh, you can't drive. We're not going to. Like, what are gonna no, but at the same time, I'm not going to let them fucking run into Wrangler and articulate something stupid and fucking go straight back in. If they get bailed or, and they get arrested, I'm to be contacted immediately to decide if they breached it or not. Alrighty, 
Yeah, any bail conditions, uh, any breaches go through you. No violent felonies, no violent misdemeanors. Actually, no, no, no violent misdemeanors, no felonies. Like, that's all. Yeah? No, so at this like, point, I don't give a fuck if they fucking have misdemeanor. Violent one. This is terrorism, Your Honor. Is there even such a thing as a fucking violent Yeah, violent what's a violent misdemeanor, Miles? Go ahead. Criminal use? I said that's a misdemeanor, right? It's not a violent misdemeanor. Criminal use of a firearm? Yeah. It's not inherently violent. Yeah. Me shooting me shooting my gun in the air is inherently hold violent. Hold on, hold on. No, look. I'm brandishing a firearm. I'm going to shoot once into the seal. What the fuck? Now, is that a violent crime? Your honor. But it's not violent, oh though. God, it's not violent. Mm. Like me shooting in my backyard is, is isn't inherently violent, but it's still "quote unquote" criminal use by definition. Yeah, they wouldn't have a gun anyway. So. Um, yeah, no, and that like standard condition of parole, no like guns, mm -hmm. no drugs. You'll reach out. Let me know. I'm going to think for a minute or oh, two. You're already on it, Bill, don't worry. Yeah. I was excited for this. I was excited for this tweet tomorrow, man. We just had a deposition today. Mm. You guys have to fucking argue everything like it's the fucking end of your entire career. It's almost like the same evidence and testimony would have been given today in a room and you just want her to actually be, have an inherent risk behind it. There's nothing wrong with having a fucking deposition in this room that you still have to argue yeah, against we, it. Yeah, well, this is, it's gonna be, it's, 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 you're setting precedent, oh, I'm in fear of my life. Yeah, okay, I'm okay, of, okay. You're, you're setting a precedent that, it, okay, sorry, they're in fear of their life. They have to, they have to go into a room where they could be fucking, yeah, it's, it's, it's fucking, it's a precedent for a one-time occasion. Where it's you're involving a fucking terrorist, bringing a fucking witness who's a literally a reincarnated terrorist, and you're just like you're so against one person who's scared for their life to fucking go in. You you throw this who president. They, she work. doesn't even know who you, she you doesn't even know who you, she's yeah, in. Who, who, okay, who, and then, sorry, they're in fear for their life, Maya. That you throw who? this fucking precedent word around like this is gonna be fucking put in the books for something that happens every time. Jesus Christ, you guys are so scared of fucking precedent that you willingly put someone away for an additional eight years in the fucking mm. polling book just because of one fucking meeting, which could have been done like an hour ago. I mean, that don't go in there anyway. You, you no, guys, no, no, you fucking do this, they're gonna go in there anyway. You guys do this bullshit where you have some false and, and like dog shit charge. And you feel like just because I can put someone in there, I'll do dog shit police work and just hold them and leverage even more time in jail to push in a plea deal. Because I fuck, fuck the plea deal and we're not taking one. You guys are just gonna get fucking mopped up in court for your dog shit fucking beliefs. Okay. I don't wanna, li I don't wanna leave and get seen. I think if I stay here, um, have them leave and then I'll dip. You guys are gonna be like sorely mistaken when you guys fuck up in court and, and then end up having to fucking deal with putting someone away for 22 years and having the repercussions in civil forfeit for you guys. It's gonna look real bad. Ah, oh, hey, sorry about that. Um, is, is, is the parole condition employing no weapons as well? Parole con the, the the bail conditions. Yeah, but he's already kind of listed them out, and it's also to your extent some term as well. Like they're asking no weapons whatsoever, correct? Right? Oh, oh he, no, you left he, he yeah. stepped away. Part of it is discussing like what you guys want.
You know, fuck it, like, he's gone, let's do it. Oh my god, that phone's gonna piss me off. God, my, my, oh my god, my car was blown up, I can't shoot back court. You know, I've been dealing with, like, the dumbest <laughs> arguments today. It's like, oh my god, I'm so afraid in Los Santos, people are gonna kind of shoot me. And I'm just like, motherfucker, do you know what city we're in? <laughs> yeah. I got you. I got you. Well, I appreciate that. Thank you for looking out. I've never been shot, but God forbid that I don't want to turn All up right. to some place where I will get. Hey, uh, so like does the bail conditions or uh, does that imply no weapons as well? You never, never lose your I guess Do they have gun licenses? Like you hold your ground, all right? All right. All right. Uh, they don't have gun licenses. What, like, you're asking me if someone should have weapons, right? Like... <laughs> Saying no violent misdemeanors with this, what they're saying. Criminal possession of a firearm first one is just a misdemeanor. And in, in, in turn, criminal possession of a firearm plus two is just a, 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 a felony, but it's not a violent. You know? I, I'm gonna think no weapons, just based solely on the fact that of what they're facing. Um, that being said, again, though. If they are arrested, you know, I expect to be contacted. And, and I hope to do it what fair. What the fuck is and, going on, bro? Uh, based off the circumstances and not just automatic fucking go to jail because they had a pull queue. You know what I mean? What were the circumstances around it? The totality of that. I, um, I, I know we talked about this, but just in case. No contact with uh, the witnesses oh, no, uh, that are listed. Oh, don't worry. It is on there, okay. But you're listing them? I'm just writing them down just for them. I got you. Yeah, I'm taking it down. Fuck, try to, try to just escape. Are they like. I have a bail here. Yeah, we can discuss it with all of them, all of the parties. Yo. Uh, we didn't even check if they're actually out of their bunks right now. The problem is, Brian can talk for hours. Hey, Henry, this is Officer uh, Brian Knight with the Los Santos Police Department. Uh, my vehicle was uh, blown up outside uh, in Little Soul. Yeah, do you mind picking it up and... Uh... Oh, do you think you can get that fully repaired for me? I'll uh, slide you like two grand or something. Yeah. Like a fucking war's going on out there, bro. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. All right. Okay. I'm trying to figure out if either of them are like five units of October. Well, like you said, Brian's going to be awake for a while. I'm going to be awake for a while. Uh, yeah, I mean, I can do like probably like an hour and a half. Where's the pump? Where's that energy?
You say and a lot it, of words, but never in an I, argument, you know? I, 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 I think you need some more hype to get up there and get awake. Get excited. I can't believe you just said that. What do you mean? What? Oh, okay. Why would you want to be limited to 240 characters? This is why you pay for Twitter Blue. Hashtag not ads. Why would you want to pay for something to express yourself in more than 240 characters? Yes. Yeah, it's bad on that side. That is fucking weird. What what room is that that they're the overlapping me? Oh, I can go show you after. I can show you a really cool one too with small the uh, real estate and um, uh, the fucking weed shop over there. Let's just say I shot a guy once who was there when the place was locked down and, and it was very awkward. Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh, and we're going to, I assume, hear tomorrow about the witness tampering, whether it should be added to this or separated or should come before versus the one afterwards. Uh, so Walker just sent me a text asking if I want him to speak on the uh, Dahlia situation. Dahlia. Walker? It absolutely is relevant because it's the reason why we're fucking here today. Wait, wait did we forget the, the entire the entire reason why we've been saying about fucking Dahlia getting deposed? The, if he's got if he's got pertinent information that would absolutely allow her to get deposed between tomorrow and now next Tuesday, then let, let's hear it. Gil, Gil. Yep. We we just got done referencing multiple individuals that are. Okay, if there's more, if there's more, if there's more pertinent information regarding Dahlia, then we'll add. I'm, I'm, I, I don't really care about talking to you. I'm just waiting for Bill to actually have a response about it. Because if, if the information with Winston is great, that allows him to hold off and uh, us have a deposition between Tuesday and the uh, next, uh, next Tuesday. Fuck it, I'm happy for it. I'm sorry that I, I I don't turn a blind eye to people's fear of potentially getting killed. But uh, my, what's a what's a third got, what's a third doctor that. dying in a how how many how many witnesses should I allow to use that excuse though? That, that's my other problem. That, that's exactly it. This is gonna you know what I mean, Gil? Because now I'm getting fucking do, text messages from by, other. You can do it by case by case basis. I, I feel like if if a, if an officer is having the details that would allow them to uh actually prove that it's it's pretty it's pretty up there and pretty could valid imagine, reasoning could you imagine uh, you know six hour pre-trial uh conversations about the validity of someone's claim of being in danger from the time going to a court case that is oof. you act like it, because they're not attending the court case doesn't mean that their testimony isn't going to be there you do a lot of yeah, but you do a lot of just talking out your ass, and then, and then it doesn't actually surmount to anything. You just you just love saying, oh, God, well, they're not going to show up as if you're not going to get the same testimony that they would, but this time they now have a huge target on their forehead. That's real cool for them. I'm sorry, did, like, I'm sorry that I'm slightly against a third doctor dying in the last month. Just because you guys get shot every day, that means that everyone across the board has to get shot as well. Bill, you're really just speaking... Winston Walker trying to protect Dahlia Faye? Is that what I'm hearing now? Alright. I think they're done. Any word about bail, Gil? Uh, let me look what, what Lizzie said.
the court case is tomorrow, right? Oh, the no, the pre-trial is tomorrow now, and then, yeah. I forgot. I thought we were back on episode one. And God forbid another officer has put in information that you're not aware of. Another officer? Yeah, well, they, she literally said Winston. If listening is not your forte, is it, Brian? I thought you'd respect people the same rank as you. Gil, I have no idea what you're trying to, what you're saying. He literally just said that Winston yeah, text Bill about Holy information. Shit. Yo. Oh my god. Antonius Rodriguez says Benny's a rat. Yo, hmm? we should see if that's relevant to this as well. You would like just love throwing out straw men when you actually have no fucking argument whatsoever. You're like you're like the worst fucking debate lord ever. If he was you trolling. were like on the C team for a debate clash, weren't you? What the fuck? No, the debate already ended. <laughs> oh yeah, I want to hear about these uh hidden courtrooms. You know the court case is next week. Uh huh. Okay. You remember the conversation about the alternate court case? What alternate court case? Is all one court case? Yo, yeah, no, your like terminology. You're saying okay, alternate court case. Any... Yeah, that it still doesn't change what, anything. What was it that he said about that? It still doesn't still change remind. anything. Still, he has, still has to get permission to even think about using that. Oh wait, here we go. Right, right, right. And what was it that he said he was going to do by tomorrow? It, we talk about it tomorrow. He didn't say he'd have an answer. Ah, we talk about it tomorrow. Yeah. So what else? Are we it, talk about so tomorrow? imagine, imagine someone else talking about it in the meantime. Is it like you you love coming to like an ex conclusion? It's like you almost have like a chip on your shoulder. It, it, it's insane. No wonder they knocked you back down to officer. Mm. Uh, who's they there, Gil? I don't know. You don't have the stars anymore. I don't think you've seen me with stars. Oh, I have. But the last terrorism. Oh, that goes my. The last terrorism did, Gil, case. See what you did. You did that. Good. All right. Let's go get food. Here we go. And go to prison. We're gonna go pack the stuff. Right. Uh, we still haven't heard any. I still haven't heard anything from. Uh... Okay, Sai said he'll take it, but I guess uh... I don't know. Lizzie, Sai is confusing because Sai said I'll do whatever Lizzie's doing, and then Lizzie didn't get back to me, so he just said fuck it. Um, I don't know what she's doing, but I'll take it. So one thing um, that I want to actually bring up here, I want to wait for Maya to return. Jesus Christ, Brian. Uh, but consider that we have direct evidence that he just tampered with one of the witnesses. Do you want to still move forward with that and put that into consideration? Did you have that transcript Fuck. Yet? I know. I, All right. I, I'm just... I, it's ridiculous. Isn't it? We're not going to do anything until a judge verifies their subpoenas and shit like that, okay? At this point, because of all the shit with witnesses and going through this mounds of fucking evidence, yes. If they get picked up on another hut, that's something different. So I could apply for a hut tonight. In theory, yes. All right, perfect. But I am not fucking ruling on that. Well, now you're, you're like really conflicting me out of shit by telling me names and everything. Like, what the fuck? This is. What, what, what do you mean? It's uh, directly relevant. Do you have proof? Yes. Let's see. Alright. Uh, do you want her to come down? 
around? Do you want me to send you the photograph? Which, uh, which would you like? I, I want to see the cell phone records. Let's go. You want to see the cell phone records or a picture of her? All his friends? To be honest, I'd rather see call logs. Because I can take a picture of my cell phone and say, hey, this is from today, but it's from fucking four weeks ago. Uh, so Lizzie says that she can do bail, but she can't get on until tomorrow. So she's, she's going to be stuck in her cell. The day that I guess they've locked her in. Uh, they don't. They lost the key for her part of the cells, I guess. The fuck? Do you know when tomorrow? Probably same time. Uh, let me ask. Obviously, Sai is willing to do it now, but if you either want to do both at the same time or one at a time, you know? Could potentially do it so that both bail hearings or just one of them for Lizzie are at the same time that we do the pre motion trial hearing or after it or some shit. It's up to you. Uh, he said, uh, sorry, Lizzie said, any time, if around the court case time works, that's perfect for me. Okay. Brian, let them so leave the fucking like building so I can get out of here. Stuff, and then after that, do her bail hearing. And that's yeah. just for Lizzie. Uh, I can either ask if Sai, if he wants to just wait until tomorrow or do that, uh, do his one now. They're about to leave for fucking food. Okay, he says, uh, Sai says he'll do his now. That's cool. Alright, where's my... Uh, I think she had a headache. She just grabbed some Advil from the bathroom. I'm gonna go to Burger Shop because I gotta grab some food. I'll see you at the prison. Unless, is there anything else you guys want to talk about, or...? Uh, no, no, I gotta talk to them about, uh, something separate. Alright, uh, later. Cause... Like I said, another judge has steel if that dude. I hope you understand that we spent an entire hour uh, discussing a unknown individual. I need to get out of here. And we're not entertaining what would be easily provable in about five minutes with photographic evidence. Do you understand how unreasonable that sounds? Like? I think there's a lot of horse shit around this case in general. Like... Yes. But here, here's the thing.
And do you not understand why I would want another judge to draw that conclusion before I draw a conclusion on this trial or... Yo. Sorry, I was, I was spying on a fucking uh, Brian Knight meeting for the past like hour. Holy shit. Found out a lot of info. What's up? <laughs> Uh, you want to meet up? Lang went to bed. He, he asked uh, me and Harry to take care of the meet. All right. Uh, you may come. Where do you, where do you want me to meet? Uh, you want to just uh, you want to do the winery? Yeah, I'll come up. Is hey, uh, Bjorn, Bjorn and Lando good to go? Yeah, I had to talk to Lando earlier, so. Perfect. Yeah, he wanted to talk to you, so. All right, I'll be right there. Right. Perfect. Talk to you. Nova! Mr. K. Long time no see. What's up, how you been? I've been good. How have you been? Oh my god, shit's been crazy. I gotta fill you in. Ooh, I don't even know where to happening? start. Just, someone tried to kill Miguel. So we've been looking into it, and then people are brainwashing people. Shit's crazy. People are brainwashing people. What? Yeah, you might actually know a little something, maybe, with the HOA, but uh, I gotta go to a meeting real quick with um, some people from Cerberus. But uh, I'll be around after that, so if you want to hop on the radio. What's the radio? 454.3. 454.3. Alright, I'm on it. Alright, bet. I'm really curious to hear what Lando has to say. I don't like Jaeger in there.
Comment ça, Stas Comment ça, Stas Je suis un master. Yeah, probably. How's the day been, man? Busy day on the radio, huh? You wouldn't want people to think we're working together. Exactly. That's why I was out on, you know, hopefully Lang didn't take offense, man. I just, you know, had to paint the picture. Hey, I saw it. Smart yeah. thinking. Oh, shit. I was just thinking, I don't know what the next move is, because I was convinced today that this would be enough for them to just fucking seethe and just do something crazy, but nothing happened after the radio show. So yeah, I, I thought they were going to bomb that place or something. I was outside waiting. Was you that you circling in the food oh Damn right. Nice. <laughs> you freaked us out. Were you guys on the roof? No. Yeah. No. I saw a helicopter up on one of them. Yeah, I was Lando going. and I were in the car out front. We saw you go by like three times. Yeah, you know. There's apparently two people on top of the building that we were across from the helicopter. Yeah, it was locals. Hmm. Oh, wow. Way to communicate that, Harry. Well, I, it was when we were leaving. They're definitely locals. The thing is, I just, I just, I can't, I can't wrap my head around it. Like, I was, I was, was sure some, they were going to do something at the radio show. But. Me too. Uh, why, why did Al Lang mention Winston Walker? Can someone uh, share the tea on him? Yeah, we got uh, proof via remembering from a conversation six months ago that uh, Winston Walker is, uh, Nick told us for a fact he has three cops in his pocket and Winston is one of them. Well, I got even more proof for you. Yeah. Yesterday I went into Parsons, Harry, to look around some more. Mm -hmm. See if we missed any secret rooms, secret doors, this, that, and the third. When I go in there, I see a Jenny Hall cracked out of her fucking mind. Looks like she what? got PTSD. And right around the corner was Winston Walker there with her as well. Oh, shit. That's the free. It's Jenny Hall, Winston Walker, and fucking... Uh, what's that game? Not, not Ted Bundy. What's his name? Bundy. Yeah, sweet. Jeffrey Bundy. Jeffrey Bundy, that's it. Yeah. Uh, sweets might be involved, too. Hmm. So I saw them together in there, and um, Winston That's Walker's crazy. name has come up on a couple properties and businesses as well as I've done my digging. So, I mean, that checks out. Yeah, I got so reason next. to think about Jerry Sweets too, but it's uh, it's just it, it could all be circumstantial, but it's definitely not adding up in his defense. Now there may be even more cops, by the way. I yeah. uh, this this one was like a golden fucking. Oh shit. This one was like a golden uh, nugget just dropped in my lap. I was just looking around. Um, you know, I heard a doctor died, so I was checking out the morgue, a hospital. Then I went to the graveyard. I went into the crypt, and there was just this guy down there sweeping. I said, what, what? the fuck? I start talking to him. Well, originally, I approached with a gun, you know, to be safe. But then I start talking to him. He said he's a grave, uh, you know, graveyard keeper. He keeps the grounds. And, you know, I didn't have anything to do at the time. So I said, oh, hey, why don't you give me a tour around? He gave me a tour. Then we, he showed me Michael Simone's grave. And he told me something very interesting. He said about the day after, or the, you know, right after he was buried and had the funeral or whatever, two things happened. One, some people came and dug up the grave and either took the body or not. He doesn't know they dug it up and then just refilled it. Um, the cops involved with that, who wouldn't tell him anything or do anything about it, was Jenny Hall, Jesus Copper, Christ. and Snow. Copper and, and Snow. Huh? He told me uh, after that that grave was getting vandalized by the Marabuntas. I don't know where the Marabuntas come into this, but I know exactly where they come into it. Do mm. so you know the Rons? Yeah. Yeah, they're all, uh, they're basically, uh, Simone Light. They're, uh, they're all involved in Ron Oil. Yeah. Um, and I remember there was some beef between the Marabuntas and Ron Oil at the oil field. Uh, Nick, I'm pretty sure if I'm remembering correct, Nick hired a bunch of people to go down there and fuck with them. Mmm, so then this guy's story does check out. Yeah. 
Jesus Christ. It just keeps growing and growing, the fucking web. Yeah. Are you sure about snow and copper? Because we, uh, oh, we're about to fucking, we're about to go into business with those fucking rats. I would be very careful. Um, oh, I mean, copper definitely had connection when we talked to her and Jenny. Maybe not on Jenny's level. Jenny seemed like she was in fucking love, but, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Based off, I mean, we're hearing from multiple sources that they may have connections, so... So they might have been, they might have been covering up fucking grave digging. Simone's grave. Yeah. Who awesome. is this guy? Is he credible? The grave guy. Pierce Iron, that's his name, right? I'm not sure. I, I should have got his name, but, uh, yeah, it seems like a really, uh, really good guy. To be honest, solid guy. Weird as fuck. So, what do you think is going on at Parsons? What the fuck are they doing there? Just like fucking like, some fucking giving therapy to each other because they're also fucked in the head? Or well, what? Parsons is definitely owned by Nick Simone and that's where we've seen all of them uh, when they had their meetings. So I guess they so kind of just probably, use it as like... A little safe, a little safe They definitely safe aren't going to use it anymore. Oh yeah, that's the second time I went in there. I handcuffed them. Cops swarmed the place so I had to get out of there quick. How the fuck did you get in, Kay? So I grappled in through the... I didn't expect oh. anyone to be there. I was just going to search for some uh, fucking doors and shit. So I grapple in, I clear the first guest house near the pool, I get to the main one, and then boom, I run into them. They see me, I see them, I gotta do what I gotta do, I cuff them up. Uh, I think she alerted someone before I uh, could get to her. So, I couldn't unfortunately question any of them again, but... Do you think, do you think we found this, uh, you know, did you, did you, uh... Did you find anything when you were in there? I found a suspicious door. But do you, um, if we if we went there, do you think uh, you know we'd be able to get in or hell no? If we have grapples, I'm all out. You can ramp bikes in there, but there's no way out unless you have a grapple. So that's the thing. Uh, or we kidnap be, someone who has keys and they open up the gate and they give us uh, a tour because there was this door. That just didn't make sense. Every other door made sense. This door did not make fucking sense. It, uh, it just didn't... It just didn't go anywhere. Uh, so I, I really want to check that door out. But you need grapples. I guess Heli is too fucking sketch. Yeah, it's gonna draw a lot of attention. A lot of fucking attention. Does anyone work at Parsons anymore? Like, Pixie? Push, shut yeah, down. Pixie Plum does. Um, she What's actually gave me a tour about a week ago. So we've whoa, been on whoa, good whoa. terms with her. What if we like try to get a tour from her? Lang mentioned her. I think he wants her to be looked into, by the way. Mm. God, Plum. she's so fucking hot. We really gotta kill her, guys. <laughs> hey, what? I've been trying to fuck Pixie Plum for five years. <laughs> Jesus. Maybe we just look at her phone. Ah, uh, fine. <laughs> Uh, okay, so we need grapples if we were gonna go in. Uh, I can get some it, in the next day or so. Uh, oh, if you guys hold up, we would just be going in there, walk like we would just be going in, scoping the place out, yeah? Yeah, it'll be a quick in and out search. Is it, I wonder if Lang could just well, if you're with us, that would be an issue. Well, I mean, I don't have to go with you guys, I've been there. Uh, I could kind of direct you to the door I'm talking about, it's right near the main entrance, the front building. You'll see a door to like the right of the main entrance that uh, just doesn't make sense. You'll see if you look around the house. What, what, what's your next move, Kay? I'm curious. I don't know where the fuck to go with this now. Next move, I'm lo I'm I'm going after the doctors here. Dahlia Fay, the Bundys, Serge Cross. You haven't gotten Dahlia yet. Not yet. Doctors is uh, the only people I haven't gotten yet either. Uh, the Bundy doctor. Serge, someone, Dahlia. Someone said Dahlia got ocean dumb recently, and it wasn't. That's me. a lie. I was just listening to a meeting uh, with Brian Knight and Bill Mays about a secret court case that is going down. Pre-trials tomorrow. Then the case is Tuesday next week for Cy Carter. One of the witnesses involved is Dahlia Fay. She is not dead. Uh, Dahlia Fay and Winston Walker. And both of them don't want to show up to the case as they're claiming to be afraid of their lives. But Brian Knight didn't seem to believe that or the judge. Um, 
And I think Brian was actually a little suspicious because Brian seems to know a lot of, uh, a lot about this shit. Dolly Faye yeah. and not 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 Winston Walker. Dolly Faye and Norman Adams. See the connection. Mean, Winston Walker needs to be picked up. Does this not make sense to you guys? I mean, think about it, right? No, that's making a lot of well, sense. That's the problem, it. Well, it's a case against Psychardia, and the two witnesses against them are Dahlia Faye and Norman Adams, and they don't want to show up. Probably sure because Nick I'm Simone sure Nick told them exactly not to. Stand the fuck down. But I think they're being forced to show up to this now, is what it sounded By like. The cops. Oh yeah. my God. Uh, and he's looking at terrorism, evidence. witness tampering. Uh, they're going to do it in a secret courthouse. Uh, apparently, there's multiple secret courthouses around the city that we don't know about. The thing is, it, it would be uh, it would be bad if the cops did force them to show up because they'd 100 percent lie on the stand and and get this psychar kind of out of this shit. Cy Carter is not getting out because of what happened uh, earlier. Yeah. So that to me and Dahlia Faye was very against lying on Twitter today. So the shit I just heard and all that. I mean, Dahlia Faye is a is uh, definitely a top level target in terms of information. Someone called the Emperor earlier with a voice changer from a payphone and told him to look into Dahlia Faye. Oh yeah, she's she's top three for me. Dahlia Faye, Serge Cross, one of the Bundys. And fuck Serge Cross. Serge Cross is a massive one. I think he's actually very You've deep been wanting this. him for a long time. He's the most believable out of everybody because he's been he climbed the political yeah. ladder, said fuck it, I'm done, and became a criminal again. I'll see if we can weed them out. Norman I, I, I think Winston's well. one one that's on my list, and I want to. Yeah, Winston Walker. Really, all these people. Um, I'm going to yeah. try to dive into some doctors, though, because I've been kidnapping a lot of cops and a lot of criminals. It's really hard to get them to talk. I'm, I'm hoping a doctor might be a little softer. They ain't used to this world. They ain't used yeah. to getting their fucking blood splattered everywhere. Let me get some info out of them. You uh, you haven't had any threats directed at you yet. No, no. You haven't had any groups approach you about anything. Benji, that's about it. That was like that was like when it was like the peace shit, right? That was before uh, Simone shit. Yeah. Yeah. But I've been laying super low. I haven't been really hanging anywhere. You able to find Bunny? No, oh, Bunny's one too. Yeah, oh, I'm gonna just start uh, yeah, try to ramping find. the kidnaps, uh, you know, kidnappings back up too. Where'd you find these people? Everywhere? I, you just I gotta look fuck. around, know where to know where to look. Uh, you know, if we see any of these fuckers, I could always ring you up. Too. Yeah, ring me up. I'll come by, scoop them up, do a little you know, alley oop. Uh, you know, Plan B is uh, right across from the rooster. That's uh, Bunny's storefront. I've seen, uh, mm. I mean, Nancy obviously works with them there, but uh, Bunny and Hardcastle go there like every day. It's in between the guild hall and uh, rooster. Yeah, she, she does not like y'all. Bunny's around right now. I imagine, based off these tweets, Bunny and Dahlia Faye are up close. They were tweeting the same shit. You guys know who uh, died earlier, by the way, yesterday? Dr. Uh, Blake or something? Wasn't around. Apparently, apparently a lot of doctors have been dying. Uh, they were talking about it in the meeting just now. I think it's a lot of doctors that aren't on the same page with Simone. Holy fuck! You're probably right because the ones that the one that died, I had no, uh, I didn't know who the fuck he was, and I've been looking at every doctor. I think uh, I think it's a doctor conspiracy, man. I think it's starting to add up. Every doctor that gets taken out and that's left alone must, uh, you know, the doctors that are left alone must be on his payroll. Is I going to leak uh, some of those pictures from that picture book, too? Uh, 
Or is it tie in too many others? I... I don't know, because cause the, the thing, it's hard to leak shit and make people actually read it, because that bunny shit is like really fucking long. Oh, that Today story? We did the, uh, the Norman Adams' this Waldo shit, and then we also did... Uh, the Jenny Hall. The Jenny Hall one. I think that bunny one would go hard. I think we, I, I think we should and then put one of the of that note and put them all over town. So yeah, and then attach one time. of the pictures, those little romantic yep, photos exactly. in the photo album, you know what I'm saying? Yep, yeah, like a little yep, love letter. Yep. Oh, well, if you want to, like, make it a smaller amount, I haven't seen all those pictures, but we could print out pamphlets and books yeah, yeah, pamphlets. some of those pictures and then put them in every mailbox, leave them all over the city. Yeah, exactly. Ooh, that's because we got the idea. Writers Guild, so we can print books, so we could do it without anyone Propaganda knowing. Propaganda books against the On, on the cover yeah. of it, put a picture, one of the pictures from that binder I gave you guys. Title, tr A True Love Story, and then you open it up and it's the fucking oh, just pack. <laughs> we, we could make physical copies of the Simone files, all these leaks. Exactly. In, you don't have to do it on Twitter. Yeah, no, we should make physical copies of all this shit, too. Telling you, dude, the Life Invader slot's open. I think Simone people would... files would look real good on there. I mm. think they would read through it more if it was in a pamphlet, because Twitter, sometimes hard if you're trying to read, like, a bunch of shit, and people yeah. are plodding and everything. It's kind of annoying, but... If we could put this in people's hands, they might actually care. I agree. We start dropping off stacks on like trays at restaurants. Yeah, we leave them. We go like slip into all the restaurants and leave them on all the counters everywhere we can. We just leave them. Uh, what's what's strange is like all, all we're hearing is fucking Nick barking like a chihuahua, but Michael's kind of radio fucking silent. So. That is pretty worrying, because, you know, if we, if we really think about it, he's the one we're after, really. I mean, he's the more dangerous one, for sure. Is there is there, a, is there other shit that we learned today that we should pass along? I'm trying to think of all the shit that we talked about today. Uh, Lando, you want to tell him your sweets theory? Oh, yeah, my Jerry sweets theory? Yeah, me here, because he, he fucked me over in court. So, uh, sweets is, um, let me paint the picture for you. So, obviously, you may or may not have heard, uh, Andy went to the ICU. Uh, and Andy used to be married to Denzel. She used to be my mother for, like, the last two years, right? So, I hear she's in the ICU. I go to the hospital to go, uh, see them. And Jerry Sweets, immediately, as I walk up, says, I'm not on the list. Right? says i'm not on the emergency contact list i say what the hell why not i'm her son so i'm trying to get in and then uh this is like over like 15 20 minutes of arguing like i walk away my guilty alex talks some sense into him to let him in and then i go inside and uh I, like after i get inside um i'm in there with the hoa who looked like confused why i was in there and then I was like asking, why wasn't I on the list? And then uh, they were saying, oh, you were, you were. And then uh, so Sweets is like, find out he's dating uh, Q, who I call Deborah from the HOA. But then I'm like thinking nothing of it. But then the next day is the wedding of uh, Rod Long, who's Nick Simone's son. Apparently. Yeah, Rod Long. Let me tell you. We go in there. Guess who's there? Dressed up, suit and tie. You know, same haircut, sunglasses, <laughs> looking an awful lot like Nick Simone. Same haircut, same everything. Jesus. I, I forgot some fucking important info. It's because I, I cooked weekend. This happened on Friday late. Uh, me and Denzel got some info. That I think there's a coalition building against this. It's, uh... Yeah. It's... Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. It's Seaside, it, Lost, HOA and Lost HOA. And Seaside. They're, they're banded together. We got that info on Friday. Also, speaking lost of in that, Seaside? yeah, get, HOA and, lost in Seaside. Diamond Dogs as well, because I saw a yellow page ad today from Reed saying "secret meeting" in all capital letters. Yeah, I'd imagine so. They're all con you know connected by the same father anyway. So yeah, and Nick was uh Nick was hanging out with the HOA all Friday, and every time I would walk up, he would walk away because I, cr I crushed his spirit and will to live in an uh, argument at the wedding.
who else do you think would be on the on that little group? What other gangs do you think? Pretty much uh, HOA, Seaside, Lost, Diamond Dogs. I doubt it's gonna be anyone else. Honestly. I think it's just anyone pro Michael, really. Yeah, it seems well, that seems about it, connection wise. Other than that, I mean, cops. <laughs> that's a gang. Cops, doctors. And for the HOA, it's more than just the Simone thing because they got that beef with Lilith now too and Hydra. Hmm. That's pretty much. Yeah, I was uh, seeing. Uh, I was seeing Andy and fucking Miguel going at each other on Twitter. Yeah. All right, I'll keep an eye out on that shit too. Then has yeah, anyone I mean, seen Flossy? No, nah. no, but I've been thinking about her a lot, and if I do, I'll let you know. All right, let me know. Flossy and Jazz Rider are two huge pieces. Yeah, I can find them. They've been on my list since day one, and I've never seen them. I don't know who the hell Jazz Rider is or looks like. Jazz Rider has a warehouse near um, Otto's. I know Flossie, and I know the voice if I heard her, and that's about it. You know, uh, if if all these groups are are fucking allying to go after you guys, are you you guys worried even in the slightest? Uh, no, not really worried. I think a lot of these guys are gonna back the fuck off, to be honest. Yeah, listen. I don't know. I don't really know what the fuck they're gonna do, but we'll just see. I mean, we'll just have to see. I'm not worried about it, but. You never know. I've been I've been keeping my guard up, moving stealthy. Uh, fucking uh, Nova and Julio still together. I was actually just about to link up with Nova after this and talk to her about each way. I think they may not be anymore. I'm not sure. But but I know where allegiance lies with us now. So. I'm trying to think what other groups. I think those four for now. But if we if we learn any other groups, we'll pass them your way. All right, same here, and uh, we'll be in touch then. Yeah, I mean that, that's all, all we really got. It's kind of a, like I said. I thought shit was really gonna pop off today, but I don't know. I feel like I just got this bad feeling in my gut that something is something's brewing. Something big's coming. Yeah, I just got that feeling, because I just, like, I just thought today, like, if they're going to do something dumb and reckless, it would have been at the, uh, at the radio show, but, nah, nothing. So, I don't know what to think. There were those people on the roof. Maybe they saw all of us around and got scared off, though. They could have been there trying. We don't know. Now they were locals, believe it, on the, on the fucking roof. Oh. Alright, keep your guard up, boys. Let me know if anything happens, and uh, I'll let you know yeah, if I you get, snag you get any, any more from... dirt. We'll work from the uh, Simone files. Alright, we'll do. Okay. Oh, also, if you need any volunteers to go to space for the first time, you know, sign me up, guys. Sign me up. I don't know if I don't want Bjorn on my ship though. Bjorn can go on to the next ship. <laughs> I'm sure we can get you, uh, you know. Maybe you could be one of the first ones, uh, you know, the first rocket up there. Yeah, now we're talking. Special I'm a K Armstrong, baby. Nova! The locals need me bad. Oh my god. Where are you? I just finished up. People so in Martini don't even have a gun on me. I'll be right there. Try to kill me, Kay.
Oh, also chat, why the fuck is the, uh... Twitter logo doge now, like real life Twitter? The fuck? You guys notice that shit? Yeah, I think Ash called too, but I'm gonna just get to Nova and I gotta pee so fucking bad, so I need to take a little pee break. First of April is the third. Elon trolling. You know what he probably do? I'm surprised with Twitter Blue, he'll probably make it so people can pay in Doge. I wouldn't be surprised. Because Dogecoin's up 30%. Well, it's probably up 30% because because it's because of what he just did. <laughs> Can you actually drive for a sec? Yeah. I'm about to pee my pants. Well, don't do that. Alright, when I'm back, um, I gotta talk to you about some shit. So, Alright. Hold on real quick. Hold on a sec, chat. I just wanna know what the heck you did to this car. It's in awful condition. I gotta fix this. No. Do you have a repair kit on you? No. Okay. Oh, are you potentially Hydra gang? No, I'm not Hydra. Oh, okay. What about the homie in uh, your past? No, he's not Hydra either. Yeah, okay, you look great damn. They don't know, does it hurt them, you know?
What the heck were you driving this car? Tires literally facing the opposite direction. doesn't even drive straight! I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna drive straight. That's it. This thing doesn't drive straight. Repair kit to fix all the damage you did to this car. A little fixy fixy. I fixed it. <sighs> I rolled up on the ballas. East side flashbacks, getting pulled over by the cops, had to fix your car, couldn't drive this car because of Bro! What? Slow it down! No, follow I don't the traffic want to. laws! No! Yes! Please! No. No. Slow it down and follow the traffic laws! No. That's all I wanted to say! And you're no. saying no! Oh now no. you're gonna make it a traffic stop. Look what you've done. Okay, listen, I, I apologize. I won't do it again. Oh, I was gonna I was just gonna yell at you and No, it's okay, way. you can yell at me. It's fine. Like I'm sorry. Done. I apologize. Listen, I'll slow it down, I promise. I understand, Listen. I understand. All I right, will Ranger slow Avery it down. With the state police. Can I see your license registration, please? Sure, here you go. You, Miss Walker. Um, and is this your car? Is this a rental? It's a, it's a rental. Do you have the papers on you? Uh, I don't. He does, and he's in his head. So. Okay. I have been driving, you know, just like right here, and I've seen like four different speeding cars in the past minutes okay literally. so why did you target me I why didn't. did you I stopped, target me I stopped no at every single no one of you those targeted cars me is it because of who them? i am is it because of who, who I, am? I didn't know who you were until we okay. just pulled over you know who are I, you uh, no i just no, gave you my id I, I can you not read my cars? id well is, my, is that id supposed to mean something to me ma'am no <laughs> well then read it make you feel like less special well you said like am i targeting you for you like is there a reason i should be targeting you no you targeted me 
no, I stopped at all the cars. And I was like, hey, slow it down. And they were like, okay, we'll do. And then you started yelling. I'm sorry, I was just yelling because you were yelling. That's true, I was yelling. I was angry. You, see, everybody was you yell at me, I yell back. You know, it's kind of a thing. That's actually fair. I, I respect that, you know? Match exactly. Energy level. You know, I gotta match the energy. You come at me, I'm gonna come at you. Okay, right, so here's what we're gonna do. Uh, do you know how long that guy's gonna be in his head? Uh... Well, it's been about... <laughs> Is he? I'm sorry, you have a huge dog in the back. It's Shatterbox. Hey, Shatterbox. Yucku! Um, can I just see your rental papers? And if this is a legally rented car, you'll be free to go. Uh, the Yucky Go Box! Uh, no, but if you just want to step out. Yeah, yeah, I, I got it. Don't worry about it. Okay. Sorry for embarking Yucking at you. It's a thing. It's a thing. Way, you look good. Bunch of yuck bags! You can take those back. Hey, Shatterbox, why are you yelling? Goddamn oh, yuck bag! This. You weren't here for the whole yelling situation. Anyway, please keep the speed down, okay? Follow the traffic laws. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go. What do you mean, yeah, yeah? You really, uh, yeah, really yeah. want to give you a ticket, ma'am. Okay, I'm you... sorry. I'll do it. I'm sorry. Yucking cops! All right, get out of here. All right, I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you Why know, you? you know. Why are you this good at Shadow well, Box know, impression? You know, you know. <laughs> Why are you this good at that? <laughs> you know, I'm a, what do they call that? Ventra, what, uh, Ventula Mist or something? Uh, and, 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 really? uh you know I'm a what? Ventra Mist or That's something. That's a puppet. That's somebody who sticks her hand up a puppet. A ventriloquism thingy thing. I stick, stick my your hand, hand up, up the puppet's ass, butt. Okay? That's what they do. You just said that you stick your hand up people's butts. Oh my god. I do. You just, you just said that. Yo, why was that cop all up on your shit? That's what I'm wondering. Uh, Cause I was speeding apparently. She said that she saw like five cars speeding and she went towards me. I said she was targeting me. What the fuck is she doing her job for? That's what I want to know. Uh, I'm sick and tired of this. You know what? I'm tweeting. They just need to stay at Mission Row PD. They need to stop doing their job. You know, I'm borderline on the edge of losing all ability to spell. Fuck. Why? I don't know. Just really, just really. Not bad, not it's bad. Really, it's a lot of brain energy to figure out how to spell ridiculous. And I don't even know if I spelled it right. Ridiculous. I think it's right. Oh, um, why you were daydreaming, um, two cars of ballas rolled up to me and was like, you Hydra? Hydra? What? Yeah. I said, no. Oh yeah, Hydra's fighting balls. Yeah. It's around at this car real quick. <laughs> Damn, people like that tweet. Okay. Hey, cruise by the graveyard real quick. There was this dude I met earlier. It's pretty cool. I gotta get his name. Graveyard. So pretty much, the Simones tried to kill Miguel. So okay. I've been being stealthy, you know, investigating him undercover. Not really telling anybody. And I've been finding out a lot of shit. There's corrupt cops, corrupt doctors, HOAs with him, seasides with him, diamond dogs are with him. You know why they, they tried people. to kill Miguel? Uh, Miguel exposed that he was still alive and he faked his death. Miguel had his reasons for it. I forget what they were, but that's why they tried to kill him. Okay. What did the HOA um, have to do with it? I don't even know how to explain this. Uh, they are deep. They got connections with like doctors, cops, HOA. I don't know. Uh, just a lot of connections. Andy Jones is the main one. Russians. This shit goes way back. You know anything about the uh, HOA stuff, maybe? Uh, about the Simones? No, I have no idea. Hmm. Well, Russians. 
I did, honestly didn't even know there was Russian still. Yeah, me too. But apparently in the past, the uh, Simone's NHOA worked with the Russians. The Boris Russians, or...? Yeah. But uh, pretty much it's, it's... I think most of it is definitely Andy Jones, but a lot of HOA, you know, follow Andy Jones, so... And she's second in command. Exactly. The Sis isn't around much. Thanks, you're kind of first in command. You know what? For once, someone's actually walking slower than me. Let me go to my normal walk. I I used to walk. I, too I was fast. walking like that. Like yeah, I was walking like that because the person I was with earlier was walking too fast. Now I'm too fast for you. Oh my god! What the fuck? <laughs> Is this slower? Yeah, I think that's right. Well, this is where I found the guy. I randomly just checked this place and he was down here sweeping. Huh. I was mind blown. The guy was literally just standing here sweeping. <laughs> Out of nowhere, this is just what he was doing. Did you? He seemed like a pretty good, nice guy. Who was gonna kill somebody? Or... Anyways, he told me uh, Michael Simone's grave here, you know, where he faked his death, and he told oh. me uh, there was three cops involved: Jenny Hall, Copper, and Snow. That pretty much uh, just didn't do anything about it. He saw people dig up the grave. That night, the same night, and the cops didn't, those three cops didn't really do anything. You know I work for Snow? Huh? You know I work for Snow? You work for Snow? Yeah. Hey, Rex. Oh, yeah. I'm a flight instructor. Hold on, Let, let's go look at that roster, actually. I think there's people involved that you might know. But anyway, keep this on the extreme low. Yeah, of course. Fuck, which one's the house? Red? Going to the courthouse? Come on, this is... Gray, not silver. Alright, maybe it is silver. What's the difference between silver and gray? Silver's a little lighter? Silver is like shiny, while gray is more like a dull color. Mm. I mean, that's my opinion on it. However, I'm also colorblind, so you can't take my word for it. I'm going the wrong way. To the courthouse. To the wait, where are we on the courthouse? To the courthouse. I'm hanging with you guys too much that I forget where I'm going. Oh my god, you're getting infected. You getting infected? <clears throat> Talked to Rami like you know 30 minutes ago, and I guess his driver is also impacted me. Yeah. <laughs> He might still be around, but he might not be. I don't know. Gotta watch out for people. Yeah, apparently, uh... HOA, Seaside, Lost... Diamond Dogs, Simones... Are all, uh... Working together, so... They're working together for what? Though? If they see me, they might fucking snatch my ass. Actually... I don't know, man. That's what I that mean, I just had like a 20 minute conversation with Julio. Hey, Julio acting weird or anything? Um, he was acting kind of sus. Ain't gonna lie. Really? Um, yeah. He pretty much told me that he knows that I would shoot him in a heartbeat, but I don't, he said I don't think I would ever be able to harm you. And then he asked me to come stay in Mirror Park for two weeks. Oh, yep. See, we gotta be careful. Um. When I asked him why, he kind of pretty much refused to say. 
he just said. I just I feel like you should come stay in your park for two weeks. Oh, they're gonna attack the fucking compound. See, that's what I thought too. But then later he yes, yes, right. triple promised me that it's not the cubby. <clears throat> Okay. They're plotting something, but I don't think it's the cubby. <sighs> Jazz Rider. You ever meet her? Jazz Rider. Yeah, she's the one that pays. She just, she just payroll. I need to find her. She works at Hayes? Mm, I don't know. I just know she does payroll for ARX. That's what I need to find. I don't think she had a picture. Hold on. Yeah, she doesn't have a picture, so I can never see what she looks like. I mean, I might be able to find one. It might be on some of the AirX advertisements. Let's go find her, uh, let's go check her place. Wanna drive? You drive. I'm uh, eating a little bit. All right. Can you mark it? Who? There it is. Uh, where is this? Right there. Why does everybody want to attack us? Because we've been kidnap doing. kidnapping people. No, okay. And questioning them and fucking. <clears throat> How the fuck is HOA gonna do us like this, man? Uh, I like those guys! B2, Mr. KB2. I'm engaged to one of them, okay? Oh my fucking god. I'm engaged to one. And one's my son. Which one? Ian. Ian's my son. I'm engaged to Oh, you should you. ground him because he's misbehaved. I should. Uh, I'll ground him. I'll ground him. Alright, yeah. Red car, city pink, please. Here? Yeah, I'll jump down. Okay. Let's see if it's open. Ah! ah! Come down here. Okay. <laughs> Listen, I need to warn you that I don't have a gun right now. Crangled last time I was awake. Are there any guns still in the cubby? Yeah, but I don't know if it's safe to go there now. I think it'd be fine. To be honest with you, from what he said, it's not going to be the cubby, it's going to be something else. Oh, dear? Our wives? I don't know. I don't know, okay. Ah, oh, shit. Are we getting pulled over again? No, we're good. Keep going. Gonna run and grab some shit. Uh, I don't know about Joel Dragon. It's right here at the cubby, so. I mean. 
Wouldn't that be the cubby? I gotta go for ya. I'm gonna grab some food. Sure. I'm gonna grab some food. You grab me some? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what we should do? How you doing? Oh, hello, Mr. Clown, sir. What's up? Um, are you working here? Or are you busy? I don't eat yuck and work here. Okay. This place is for yuck bags. Oh, my best friends work here, though. They're really Bunch cool. of yuckers. Yuck bags. All right, if you say so, Mr. Clown, sir. Have a good day. Yuck you. <laughs> Leave me hanging. Oh, some suspicious cars just went by. So... I think I should hide in the trunk. Then you hang out with Julio in the car. <laughs> He's already told me he can't hang out with me. Oh, so this is serious then. Phone call started. He was like, "I'm I'm in a meeting." Who's that? I don't know. Uh, th that's the ballos. Oh, they're probably looking for Hydra? They're coming after you right now. What are you doing? No, I'm good. I'm just driving by. Ugh. All right. Um, come to the back of LSB and I'll pick you up. Jump over the wall. I don't know why Hydra would even fight the balls at a time like this. I don't know. I think it's weird. I didn't even know there still was ballers. Exactly. I'm like, why well, is it even worth it?
pretty much. I think Surge Cross is brainwashing people for the Simones. You think so? Oh, I know so. No, I'm on pretty good terms with Surge Cross. Really? Mm hmm. Where does he hang out? Um, he likes to hang up in the, the hills. He likes to take care of his bees. He hangs out with Jenny Hall a lot. Bees? Where's um, his bees? Doing dodo. Um, normally. Jesus Christ, Nova, you go, man! Vinny's, you remember where Vinny's old house was? The, the red one? Yeah, I remember. In the hills? Up in the hills now there, yeah. Mark it up, let's go check it out. Like that mountain right there. I've been into a couple of his properties and this guy has like sick fucking torture chambers. Wait, really? He's a fucking psycho! Isn't he a cop? Slash ex judge slash ex yeah he doctor? was a cop <laughs> then he he was a doctor then a <clears throat> cop then a judge and then back to being uh, another cop again. exactly that's what I'm telling you Nova this shit's dirty what the fuck was that mm, I don't people are crazy you know Dahlia Fe Dahlia Fe. Sounds familiar. Um, Linnell Bundy. <clears throat> yeah, she's a doctor. Lin uh, Lennon. Oh, Lennon. That. Mm -hmm. There you go. Finally, I know what I said. <laughs> Lennon, Lennon Bundy. That's uh, that's Bundy's wife. What you know? He's about a her? doctor. Um, not too much. Uh, I know they used to live up near the lighthouse. Um, 90% of the time that I see her, she's hanging out with Bundy. We're at the hospital. Did you know they adopted Cleo Shaw? Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Cleo's, like, in everybody's business, including mine sometimes. Who was tor Yeah, I remember. And she was apparently tortured by the Simones a lot. Uh, but apparently the Bundys were involved in... Faking the death I'm and helping sure Simone. I'm pretty sure Dahlia Faye is also a doctor, right? Yeah, she was involved with faking the death of Simone. Okay. Okay. Right? That's what I'm saying. Like, holy fuck. And so Bundy's both involved of those? and Jenny Hall, Winston Walker. I'm on pretty good terms with Winston Walker and Bundy, too. Mm, they might be a and little suspect. I've been trying to get my hands on a bunny to question them, but I haven't come across them. I have his phone number, you need it. I don't know if I want to call him. I've been doing it like real low key. Real low key. Know where he lives too. Um, he's like got two houses. Yeah, what's that one? You been in there? Uh, which one? Any of them. Mm, no, never been I've in been into all of them. And they all got something in common. They all have, um, a, like, some kind of type of sex dungeon in there. I was gonna say, they're probably full of, uh... I <laughs> said, so what the fuck are these people doing? Right up here? Yeah, he used to do his bees up here. And then sometimes he would do it, like, right above the museum. Oh. The court center? Isn't there a place for this town? Don't people do this at the winery? Yeah. <clears throat> the court center? Yeah, the court center. Alright, up here. Interesting. Does he go on duty often now? Like, is he a full, full blown cop? Cross? Yeah. Uh, I see him every now and again. So I'll just say, yeah. I know I've met him a, a bunch of times, <clears throat> but I just. 
can't remember what it sounds like. Hard to describe his voice. I'm not gonna lie. It's not like a real, like, deep voice. I used to hang up here a lot. Like at the actual center? No, just like right here in the hills doing key things. Mm. And then any other time I saw him, it's been off duty doing dodo with Jenny Hall. I wonder. Hmm. Alright, bees are fucking dodo rounds. Yeah, I'm trying to get Surge Cross, Dahlia Fay, or one of the Bundys, or Winston Walker. Those are my main targets. I have about 5 Winston million, Walker 5 a thousand wheelchair? suspects. You know, I'm a detective and shit, so you know what I mean? Like, Winston Walker? No, he, he's walking around. Is he? Yeah, I saw my Parsons with Jenny O. Too many walkers in this city. I know Winston Walker, Waylon Walker, TJ, TJ Walker. You know what's funny? What? All three of them involved with the smells. Uh, TJ Walker's technically my brother. Do, uh, do I gotta worry about you, Nova? No. You seem to know a lot of these people. I have friends and connections. Okay. Oh my God. TJ Walker I, went away for I a bit, and apparently he was with uh, Michael Simone, and he came back like dressing like him. And I was really? gonna catch him, but then he got super spooked, so I just let him go and I never grabbed him. You know, a few months ago, TJ Walker uh, shot uh, Bloom and blamed Bundy for it. What the fuck? Sounds like Simone put him up to it. Maybe. Maybe he wanted to get rid of Bundy because he was afraid he would snitch. Let me show you what we're dealing with, alright? Alright, alright. Let me show you these fucking psychopaths. I feel like I need to spill my family tree in case it gets caught up back in this again. Yeah, we might need to document that. Well, you see, you know, Vinny's Your family my tree dad. might actually just solve the case, you know? Yeah. Okay, well, Vinny's my dad, but he's my adopted dad. My biological dad is Janetti, uh, Charlie Janetti from the hospital, who also has a son named Cy Carter and two other members of the Diamond Dog. So, this is a Michael Simone shrine, which I'm actually going to take pictures of. Wait, what? Have you been up to the tower? Tower? What's on the tower? The, the tower with a giant picture of Michael Simone in it. I need you to take me there, but first... Okay, we just gotta go get a heli. Alright. I'm sorry, whose house is this? Uh, I forget, but... You can tell who they're connected These people are 
These people are creeps. <clears throat> You've never been up to Eclipse Tower and seen what's up there. Helicopter? Yeah, helicopter. And I'll take you up there. There's a big Michael Simone picture? There's a... Last time I was up there, there was a giant picture of Michael Simone above the bed. Oh my god. What's wrong with these locals? They're so rude. They are very rude. You know, I was a shadow leader of the Diamond Dogs for like six months. No, we might have some problems here. <laughs> what? So you just scare me a little bit. I got just I, I got them started up, and then I left. Uh, you know, let them go on their own. That's why every time they see me, they call me Coach. Who's the Diamond Dogs? Who tries to kill me? Cyan Reed. Okay. I read, uh, let's see. The Tamberlinis, uh, Big Pussy. I have all their numbers. I think Pussy is the leader, even though Sai thinks he is, so... Also, Irido. Irido is two. And then, uh, Mel Gibson. Mel Gibson? Mel oh, Gibson. Holy shit! All right, let's go, Eric's pilot. Go, box. I need keys. Okay, thank you. Oh, yeah, I've been up here. You seen the picture of Michael Simone? No, I didn't see any picture of Michael, though. We gotta be careful. Oh, that shit was open? The first door was, but the next one's locked, and that's where the picture is. Every time I came here, everything was locked.
right here, right here, right here. You can see it. You can see it. Oh my fucking god, I didn't even notice that. Jesus Christ. I have to get the fuck out of here. I wonder if he lives here from time to time. Let me do something real quick. That's so quick. I'm gonna track down Brian, bitch ass night. Actually, Brian like, Nye. With, uh... Bolingbrook. Who the fuck is in Bolingbrook, Vinny? It's gonna call from Bolingbrook. Isn't like a lot of the boys in jail? Mm, yeah, actually, right. You can go up there and see if they're up there. Brian might be up there too. 
a good good place to check. My phone's still mute. You know, this past like 20 minutes has made me realize that I know a lot of stuff about a lot of people. Oh shit. No, it's just, uh, you know, whoever wants to be a part oh, of it. I didn't see Brian in that whole mess. No, Brian wasn't there, neither was Surge. I was looking for Surge, to be honest. I think they're at the present. Vamos. Oh. Oh my god. What the hell? Did you have a headache? Uh, a slight one, yeah. Round game. I can't wait to be on my own game. Yeah, that was a fucking crazy headache.
Go check inside there, friendly. All right. Make sure my enemy. If you see Brian in them, let me know. literally nobody in there and no inmates on the list. The fuck? Weird. Can you just get a call from here? What the hell? <clears throat> we gotta find Brian, bitch ass night. Maybe I'll call him from a payphone and kinda tease him back out. Why are you looking for Brian? Let's just say sometimes you gotta let the dog loose. Okay, okay. Sometimes you gotta give the dog a bone. I don't know what that means, but I'm just gonna go with him, alright? Give a dog a bone. I forgot. It's in a BMX like, song. Says, I forgot how it goes. Remember uh, a game we used to play in elementary school called Doggy Doggy Where's Your Bone? The oh, fuck kind of games you play? <laughs> I don't know, but I learned my alphabet backwards in kindergarten and still know it. Kindergarten teacher drill sarge us to say it forwards and then immediately say it backwards. Every single day. Isn't Who's that? Not duty cop. I don't know which one it is. I forget. I can't see his face up close. I think I can win. He is acting super sus. What's this? A hula? Or a bike? Mm, no. Sure? I am positive it's not Julio. Julio doesn't have hair. It's bald. It sounds like Julio. Hospital? <clears throat> Possibly. I seen it around the morgue a lot recently.
I know, but there's a lot of people in there. Can you walk in there and see if you recognize anybody? Yeah, they won't think anything of it. I walk in there all the time. I didn't recognize a single one of them. What's no. an intern named Aubria, though? They have a lot of interns. Right now, they just headed a hiring wave. Who the fuck is that? It's the same guy. That's the guy that went up to the, the guy outside the MRPD. Yeah, gasoline. Let's strike a convo with him. I think that might be... Oh my might god. The fucking rat that fucked me over in the court case. Doctors are watching like hawks. He's missing a hand. Yum. Lily, you. Yeah. Damn, Lily, alright. That's him. You have a good one, alright? You too. That's him. Get in, get in, get in. His name's Honey Moonstar. Yep, that's him. Fucking rat, fuck. It's on a bike. Those doctors were watching, though. Not gonna lie, I told him my name was Lily. So what was he, uh... Was he about to do anything? Uh, he said he's retired from robbing stuff. That's what he told me. Yeah, he's trying to be a fucking cop. Only got one hand. Let's try to fool the walker. I'm gonna torture that motherfucker. Sure, he got his number. He said he liked me. I told him he looked like a ghost from Call of Duty, and the conversation went on from there, and he just really liked it. Oh, you probably made him feel so cool. It probably did, honestly. <sighs> Let me grab my weapon of choice. I think he just went by on his bike. It's gonna be really hard to catch that bike. Shit, not if we shoot his tires.
Are Lilith and uh, Miguel back together? I didn't even know they were together. But they were together and then they broke up and I think they're back together. Is that the guy's bike? No, he had a different bike, did he? Is this all you've been doing for the last like few days? weeks? A few weeks? Yeah. Where the fuck is this guy? That's the guy that ratted me out for witness tampering. Wait, really? Yep. You should take his other hand. I he can't cop with what one happened to his hand. All right, he can't cop with zero hands. That's a really good pun. Maybe cut his foot off and attach it to his current hand. It's missing. The foot hand. That wasn't Brian, that's UPD. at Legion Square. That's not Brian. LSPD? Nah, the other guy on the bike I'm looking for. Oh. Quickly, he's got a wingsuit on. Hey, yeah. Yeah. It's the guy that was sitting out front of MRPD. Mm. That, uh... Honey Melon was talking to. Payphone. 
Sometimes you gotta let a dog know it's dinner time, you know what I mean? Alright. Yeah, I, I know what you mean. Totally. We used to have a map of every payphone in the city. Are you fancy, huh? No, I don't know what I'd do with it. Wait, what are we doing? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I need like a uh What's the, the DMX there? <laughs> I'm just gonna say a DMX lyric. Let's get our voice deep as fuck this time. Thirst, 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 thirst. Thirst, 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 thirst. Hey, this is Knight. Give a dog a bone. Leave a dog alone. Let a dog roam, and he'll find his way home. <laughs> Sad to get him alone. Uh, sometimes I gotta tell him, no, like, hey, dinner time! Yeah, what, what are you giving him for dinner? I'm just giving him some bones. You gotta give a dog a bone. Oh. I'm a cat person. You know, I like cats too. I got a couple here in our neighborhood cats that like to hang out. I'm allergic. Oh. So you like torturing yourself? Yeah, uh, maybe. What do you want? What do he want? Yeah, what's up? It didn't sound like he was in a chase. Absolutely nothing. Well, Brian but has the about, big police what about letters on his car. HOA? Fred from HOA wants to talk to you, and he sounds very serious on the phone. Okay. Oh, I think it's the guy's bike. Why would Fred from HOA want to talk? I say talk to him and just see what he wants. And just pretend to be stupid, and that's what I do.
You can't GPS the bike. Uh, yeah, I mean, I just, just do you. Just, hey, well, oh, okay. Do so you, if you if I don't hear from you, you got ocean dumped by Fred from the HOA. Okay. Yo, y'all fancy. You got trackers on each other right now? Just tracking each other? You just keep GPSs in each other's legs or something? Y'all are, are weird. Street team's weird now. You wanna give me my keys back yet or nah? My garage. Yeah, it, it's uh I just got wrangled over these keys, so I want I want the keys back. It's it's a long story. Crazy. You should call me back and tell me what happened, though. Well, just don't get ocean dumped. Okay. Fred from HOA wants to talk to Aria from Street Team about whatever is going on with this, I guess, and he sounded very serious about it. Hmm. Huh. Interesting, huh? Hmm? Oh, My guess fuck. is they want to see what Street Team's involvement is in this and whether they should go after a Street Team or not. What was that then? Brian's usually in the car with big lettuce on the side. Big lettuce on the side? Yeah, like a side of lettuce. Like, like a salad? No, I mean like lettuce. Lettuce on his car? Oh, oh, I thought you were Is this the guy's an bike, about no? tossing salad. Yes. Oh my god, there's rats probably in there. Ranger. Oh, fuck. Yeah, let me get some ladders. You said that because you're not. What is that? What's going on here, man? Oh. No. Um, if it is about that, we could get street team and get information from Joy. Julio texted me asking if I was calling him a good boy. Good boy? 
fuck does that mean? I don't know. Have you already met with them? Okay. Well, I had an idea, but I don't know how dumb it is. I don't think they're going to ocean up you. I just think they want to get information out of you. But they're probably literally going to ask you if you're siding with, you know, CG Hydra and any of this. I mean, all you should do is tell the truth and say you hate Hydra. What you do? I mean... Just, I mean, you just gotta, you gotta, you gotta be blunt and just gotta lie a little bit. I can't believe that was the fucking rat. I wonder if Nova spooked him. Where did I see him at before, I too? I saw him and I was like, what the hell is this guy doing? At the PD, I think it was, yeah. PD in the hospital. Oh, whoa, whoa. I'm down. And then I'm gonna go straight to Flippy and say that you said that you hate I. Uh, just let me know how it goes. Bye, Aria. Did she meet with him? Uh, yeah, she's gonna meet with Fred. I told her to, uh, you know, play dumb to everything and just, if anything, they ask if they're taking our side and, you know, CG Hydra side, just say they hate Hydra. Cause yeah, because they don't really... I'm curious as to how they even know uh, I'm involved. So, I wouldn't admit to anything. I told him just say you hate Hydra. It's, it's not a lie. Street team really doesn't you know, mess with Hydra that well. No, yeah, they never really got along. And honestly, Street team isn't involved, so. Just told him to see what they want. Sunny Snitch Star. Damn, he didn't say anything what he was about to do or anything like that? Oh, no. He kept walking away from me. I couldn't get too much out of him. I think he knew, maybe. He's a fucking rat, that guy. He's a rat. Goddamn rat.
I think that's gotta be his bike. None of the letters. Let's check though, maybe this car did get blown up, remember? It also sounded like a bike back there. Hate how good you are at that. See, the perfect disguise. And they don't even question me about a mask. Works like a charm. Did you just like know you could do that, or did you just like practice it, or did it just come to you? I literally just came to me. Gave it a try one day. I think one of these is his. I guess the third one, the one closest to us. Mm -hmm. Remember, his had the, the exhaust things. So how does he operate a bike with one here? It's a fucking great question. Really good question, actually. <laughs> you know, how does he do a lot of things? Is my question. The same way Winston Walker does. Oh, we're just gonna walk or be on the radio shooting people and, and fucking and swimming all at the same time. Oh, with one hand? One hand. Man, is talented. What the heck did EMS get those vehicles? I remember, I don't think I cut his hand off, did I? Wait, you think you might have been the one that cut his hand off? I might have been, but I don't think so. No, I wouldn't. I once uh, told Winston Walker I was going to cut his other hand off. Why didn't you Wish I did. <laughs> It wasn't worth my time, Kay. It wasn't worth my time. Oh, so Eugene was involved in the plan and ruined it. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> I'm guessing that's the most important part? Yeah. It was me, Eugene, and, and, and Marcel. Uh, yeah, it wasn't going anywhere. I'm better off working alone. What's this guy possibly doing in the PD again? He already fucking snitched on us. Who else is he snitching on us? Just hanging out, pretending to be a cop.
I wish we could put a... That's him right there. Oh. He just came out of the side doors of my PD. He's running towards the front. He's about to get on his bike. Alright. No fucking eye. Yep. No fucking eye. Where do you think he's going to go next? No question. He's going this way. He might go to autos? You look to the right, I'm going to turn left though. See if you see a bike. I don't see anything that way. He's right there. Just walk out of the back room. He's in there. Mm -hmm. I guess we wait again. The fuck is going on? I don't know. I can even see it from here because the doors look closed. On you? No, I don't. It's a real clown. Fuck is going on? <laughs> Let's go buy a gas can. the student with some fucking gas. Straight. Must have turned. So I'll make it up this hill. You then turn. besides the PDG like to hang out. Yeah, no call.
Oh, that was locked out. I'll be back here. Hospital. Hospital? Motherfucker. You hear that? No. There's a scooter. A lot of scooter. Where could he have went? He went anywhere by now. All the bikes are going now, what the fuck? Yeah, I run chat back now. What is this impossible? Yuck you, yuck back! Catching up, he's catching up. First time you see you dress like this? It's not that hard to leave chatter box. Yeah, kinda down. Would you like me to fix the car? Let's get out of here fast, he's gonna be searching. Brian? No. One left. Left? Yeah. It's him right there. 
Yeah. Rush is rest. The gas. Is. The gas can. Yeah. Got a gas can out. Should we just grab him? We can. Hope oh, he's perfect. He's... Hey, this might be perfect. Hey, he's running back. Put on the side. These people outside would leave it easier to pick him up. You got a gun, right? Yeah. Hide in the bushes over the swell. Hold him up when it comes out the stairs, and I'll draw. I'll be right there to pick you up. You got cuffs? You got handcuffs? Chatterbox, you want to buy some tea? Yuck you! Over? Oh, I see ya. Alright, get him in the car. Sit in the back seat, you know? We should help, we should help that lady take him hostage. Fuck you, Koala. Bye guys. In the trunk or not? Nah? Just get in the car. Where are we going, guys? Yuck bag! Love you guys. Bye bye. Where are we headed? Yuck on a party you. trip? Are we gonna have like a nice little uh, sleepover, slumber party or something? Yuck you, gangbanger! Gangbanger? I don't gangbang anymore, man. Yuck bag! Yuck bang? Is that like a mukbang, but like. Like throwing up or some shit. What are we talking about here, guys? Yuck out of the car! Alright, that sounds fair enough. Holy shit, what's up, G? Hi! Yeah, what's up, Koala? Yeah, what's up, Koala? Yeah, what's up, Koala? Yeah, what's up, I have one hand. It's 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 hard to cuff. I'm sorry. It's it's you're gonna have to like in the other one, cause like, I have no wrist, you see what I'm saying? Like, cuff his, oh. with his hand to his like, neck or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah uh, maybe try the jetpack, do it to the jetpack, to the, to the, to the hand. Keep walking around, see what happens! Uh, what do you mean? That's fucking stuff, I'm missing a hand, Keep remember what we do? Because I competed, and I have to. Okay, I, I, I have to. Sorry. Why do I always get kidnapped in a nussies? This always happens. What do we all have for dinner? Yuck you! What? I, I don't. I don't. I don't understand this a fucking language. What, what are we fucking talking about here? He said yuck you. Oh, what is that? Is that like a cheese or something? Is that like a yuck off? He doesn't like swear words. I, I don't think he likes so many words.
You guys ever uh, like put the sugar cubes in your no! tea or coffee? Oh, well, you should try it. But but you should put the sugar cube in a spoon and then dunk the spoon in the tea or coffee and then take it out with the sugar cube still in the spoon and sip it from the spoon with the sugar cube in there and rinse and repeat that process. It makes it so much better, I promise. Yuck you! All right. No sugar cubes. All right. You more of a sugar packet guy? I understand that. Kind of hard to portion one with those though, you know? I got keys here. This works. You know, you said to put your hands up and I'm still kind of offended because I only have one of those. Did I say hands? Yeah. Not, not really sorry. Damn, what the fuck? That was mean. Is this, our, is this where we're having our slumber party in here? This is a nice house. I say we watch The Notebook third. It's a good third movie, like a, like a, like an in-between. You know what I'm saying? My petrol! No, give me my fucking petrol back. Did you just take my fucking petrol? It, if you did, want did you just back. take my fucking petrol? You better listen! Alright, fair enough. Get the yuck inside! Alright. Guys, the guns aren't necessary. I won't fucking do anything. I have one hand. Stop it! In one hand. I've seen people do a lot of stuff with one hand. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I I'm like that. Pretty, I'm pretty skilled. You're disgusting. Disgusting? Lily, I thought me and you were friends. That like 30 minutes ago. Yeah. I'm... You move fast. Yeah, I move very fast. I proposed to my uh, ex-girlfriend in nine days, actually. That's why she's your ex. Yeah, but we're kind of on again, off again. I like that toxic shit, you know? Are we taking a family photo? We're friends, too! Alright, the best. Friends? Oh. We're real good friends. Oh shit! You really oh, thought shit. you were gonna get away with this shit? You no, really okay. fucking thought? I was mean. I was meaning to speak to you. Can't let me wear my mask off so I can speak to you face to face. Oh, I don't want to see your dirty fucking face. No, all right, all right, all right. You know, Mr. K, I, I actually, I wasn't gonna do anything. I was, I wasn't gonna snitch. I'll be honest. I wasn't gonna say shit. But the fact that you guys didn't trust me. That, that Why the my fuck will we trust you when you talk to the cops? Okay, well, I, I'm not, okay, well, I'm not good friends with Pigeon, but me and Pigeon go back, okay? And I thought, just because of that, that was going to be enough. But the fact that you guys even used him to, to do that shit to me, that was fucked up, okay? I, I had the worst month of my life, Mr. K, the worst one. I was in fucking parcels. Oh, Mr. K, I was in fucking oh. Put that away. Oh, I got two of them actually. Put that away. Just a little petrol. Mr. K, put it away, please. <laughs> I'm gonna dump it all out. How about that? No, don't, don't, dump please, it please, out. please. Dump it out. Dump it out. Don't, 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 don't dump it, please, uh, don't, please, 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 Mr. K, please, don't do anything. You're mine now, bitch. Oh, you thought you could again? fuck over the dragon and not get burned? Dragon. That's right. You didn't know who you were fucking with, did you? Don't mess oh. with the dragon unless you want to get burned. So, you have about five minutes to explain yourself before I make my judgment. What do you mean explain myself? Uh, about why I did what I did? Why did you fucking rat? Well, uh, like I said, I, I wasn't going to. Um, matter of fact, everyone that was on that island... Um, Kind of got together and said they were going to sue all of you for like 2.5 mil uh, within themselves. Who led that guys. conversation? Um, the other guy. What was his name? Um, mm, I forget his name all the time. The other cop. rat that was up there? Yeah, yeah, that one. Um, and I think he's still going to pursue that. And I kind of told him it's kind of OD. You know, you're kind of stretching at this point. But um, I think he's pushing for the 2.5 mil. Anyways. Um, 
yeah, I wasn't going to, and then uh, obviously uh, you guys uh, literally did what you did to me, and I was like, damn, that's kind of fucked up. You know, we could have had a simple conversation about this because uh, I do some fucked up shit. Did past tense now, I guess. Um, you guys do some fucked up shit. I feel like there was a crim code uh, initiated there where I wouldn't talk, and you guys wouldn't. You know, you guys would trust that, but because um, I mean, obviously. You guys, Pigeon especially, has shit on me. And uh, I had shit on you guys. So I was like, okay, and I guess, you know, this is just... You guys did what you did. And you guys just needed people. And it just so happened I was there. And then you guys went and fucked me up. You see what I'm saying? And then I was like, damn. I, I thought there was a sense of respect. And uh, I was hurt. And so I said, you know what? This is kind of fucked up. Then I went into Parsons. Uh, because the shit you guys did to me was traumatizing. Um, and then once I got out, um, I still had that grudge in which I went to the police and I told them what happened. Which, Mr. K, I'll tell you right now, I had no intention of doing until you guys fucked me up. The reason no we fucked you up because we were told that you were a fucking rat talking to the cops. Someone else on the island ratted you out. No, no, the only thing I did and since was... since you when... got fucked up, you decided to go be a little baby, break the crim code that you supposedly followed, and now look at you. The only thing I said before me getting uh, fucked up by you guys was uh, what everyone else was telling the cops, because if I had a different story, I would be fine. I heard something. If I came up with a different story as to what everyone else said, then it looks really sketchy, don't you think? Mm. So, yeah. Other than that, I didn't say shit until after, and, um, you know, you guys did what you did, I did what I did. And even after all that, you went and got up on the fucking stand. Yep. Yep. And testified against me. I did, Mr. Kim. I did. You did. You know... And when you mess with me, I guess you weren't informed. You were who I am? What yeah. I am? We went over this, Mr. K. I know, I know who you are. I know what you can I do. I, I know what you've you done. Do. I really don't think you do. Alright guys, I'm in like a very big like uh, addictive phase right now and I've been playing chess like an insane amount recently. Can everyone give their favorite uh, chess opening for white? I play the London person. All I care about uh, is checkmate, bitch. And when you mess with me... You mess with the dragon, motherfucker. You know, this might be a little... <laughs> At least cut off his other ear. <laughs> Start fry or something with all this chopped beef. Uh, I think he fell over and fell apart. Jesus Christ. Uh, I said we throw this on a nice. Let's do it. Ocean hasn't been too hungry lately. I don't know by the sounds of everything, Ocean hasn't been working for you. Yeah. 
just bury him. <laughs> In a grave? Yeah. Yeah, bury him alive. Go for him. I think that's the best idea. What should he do? Dig himself out? Exactly. Hurry up, slide this thing up. What'd you say? Slide this thing up. Like what open, huh? This thing. This yeah, thing. slide that shit up. Hey, I'm sliding, I'm pushing. Oh, oh my god, it's scraping. Push it, tell me when to push it close. Push it close. Pushing. Ooh, it's heavy. like two tons. I think I broke a pinky. All right, come on. Let's go see my friends down there. Nobody seen that. There's no way anybody saw that. We're too sneaky. Brian, fuck, 
an undercover car? It's Fox. Good to see you, buddy. Good to see ya. What the hell? Freaking flop. Freaking flop. Frickity flop. Can't believe we forgot that guy. Oh. I wasn't even gonna go after him, but since he fell in our lap. He honestly did kind of just fall in our lap. Have you heard from Arya? Uh, I haven't. I probably should check up on her. Yeah, give her a call, see what she says. Answer. She might have been ocean dog. Oh fuck, for real? I have been. Maybe give her a second and we'll call her back. And if she yeah, I don't see why time. they would go after her though. Yeah. Street team doesn't have any pot. Yeah, I think we wait a second and then I call her back. No, doesn't answer. Then maybe. She Super, they have the one year resub. Jared, they have the two month, uh, two year, five month resub. Holy shit, that's like the max amount. So I got two more drops for Brian if we could find him tonight. Um, All Hail Michael and Fix Your Face Inc. Yeah, if not, we can always head, get it to Brian tomorrow. Still good, yeah. I wonder how that guy's gonna be when he wakes up at the hospital. <laughs>
right? No, it's a tan outfit. and bison? Are those two doctors up there? One looks more like a cop than a doctor. Yes. All right, but Arya is alive. She'll come back with information later. So nothing from Arya? Yeah, she just called. She said she's alive. She'll call me okay. back with the information in a second. We gotta talk to straight team first. Who the fuck called me from Bone, bro? And maybe one of the boys woke up, called you, and then when you didn't answer, they just went back to bed. Yeah, I don't know if we can find Brian. We'll have to hit him tomorrow. Well, we got our snitch at least, and we did learn a lot. Oh, shit. gonna be around tomorrow uh yeah i should be all right make sure you tell me what uh aria said tomorrow okay you want to bed yeah i think i'm gonna head to sleep well keep an eye on that motherfucker oh, yeah, all right? i keep an eye on him i right, hear i'll give you keys
All right, I'll see you around then. Good night, Kay. Yeah, we could, uh... Prank call Chatterbox real quick. Or you just did as well. Not yet, please. Chat. It doesn't matter if Brian's on or not. I've been searching for Brian for like an hour or two. I couldn't find him. We could just give him the info tomorrow. Um. We gotta see if this guy lives or dies tomorrow. This guy might perma. So I have to look into that. Kidnap one of these doctors, drop more to Brian, and uh, maybe check out Tupano after. So, and Street Team. I did find Brian for an hour or two today, actually. We, 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 I need to save that notepad, actually. We, uh, what's it called? But spied on that whole meeting. Eric, thank you for the big thousand stars. Appreciate you, bro. But yeah, I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Another amazing stream. Uh, drop a like. Follow if you guys ain't following. Uh, follow YouTube, um, Twitter, Instagram, all Lord Kevin. Go blow those all up. And yeah, catch you guys tomorrow. All right. Peace out, chat.